Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Perfection Randomizer. We're playing Stardew Valley. We're going for perfection. It's random. And we're here to have some fun. Jump scared by the music. I, I messed around with the audio settings a little bit. I might sound like different, like the, the volume differential between myself and the music might be different. There might be other little idiosyncrasies that you notice. Hopefully it's, uh, I want, cause like last stream during the Iron Man, we, uh, I added some new music to the stream playlist, but it was like real loud compared to all the other music. So I tried to do a little bit of technical wizardry and normalize it. So hopefully that pays off. I don't know if it will. This isn't one of the louder songs, I don't think. But let me know if the if the audio is all scuffed, because I can always revert the changes. Either way, how's everybody doing? Been a little while since our last randomizer stream. It's uh <laughs> not necessarily by design, but you know it did give me a lot of time to process our current goal exclamation point goal. One second, though. Exclamation point goal. That's exclamation point full. I'm not looking for baby horses. Maybe in like, maybe after the stream, but. Current goal, build, <laughs> build a gold clock. Put user in timeout. I kind of want to for saying such treacherous things. All right, pin message. I mean, I don't want to stall too long. We do have some stuff to go over before we actually get into the uh, into the stream here. We got a lovely piece of fan art, courtesy of um, of Mia in the Discord. Mia doing more of the written word fan art. We got another part of the girl who challenged Yoba, the continuing story of this interpretation of the uh, the randomizer. Oh, this is great music for it too. <laughs> So let me go ahead and um, indulge you with The Girl Who Challenged Yoba, Part 4, written by Mia, performed by yours truly. <clears throat> now Yoba pondered on that girl. She had come far, but not any farther. Yes, the god decided, humoring done, it's time for Bia to truly quit. No more tricks or games to play, for no ma more shall mercy line her path. She had great courage thus far. Alas, her moxie will move her no further. She was not deterred by the fishing tasks, nor the hardships take her to task. No friends became a foolish distraction, simply a one-track mind of divine. But this request, oh, it was blessed. It should shatter her spirit. For she is no dragon, and hoarding for years will surely wear down her drudgery. Perhaps it is cruel, this little ask, but winning is not hers to do. Yes, she is not fated to best us. Let this gold make her Gordian knot. But there is no knife here to cheat us. No tricks, no games to make Beatrix plain. She needs to build, but a clock. This will be the mo end of a most bemusing tale. Of this, Yoba was certain. Dude, chills? Anyone else get chills? A little bit of goosebumps? Holy... We're gonna prove Yoba wrong, though. Don't you worry about that. We're gonna build this gold clock. Maybe not today, maybe not next stream, but the gold clock will adorn us. Thank you very much to, to Mia for that one. I greatly appreciate it. Chloe will kill God. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna go quite that far. Don't know if we're gonna go quite that far. Um, one last thing before we actually get into the, uh, into the randomizer here proper. One, it's, it's a bit different. Is it, hold on, I gotta cut the music. I, I gotta cut the music. We don't want, I, I mean, maybe I could have music for this, but I feel like it's gonna be better without it. Um, I've never done one of these before, chat. This stream is sponsored. This stream is sponsored, and I got a thing I gotta read. Like, this is, this, am I a real YouTuber now? I'm sponsored. Hold on a second. I gotta, I'm, I'm bad at this. I'm a professional, but I'm bad. I'm bad. 
Sponsor baby, sponsor. All right, all right. Here we go. I got, I got a little special thing for you. I got to hide because I couldn't. I can't just do you know a sp the sponsored ad read. I gotta, I gotta flex on a little bit. So uh, <laughs> this is gonna be so silly. I love. It. I'm all right. <laughs> it's on brand though. It's on brand. <clears throat> La di da di da. I love tending to the beautiful fields of fractured farm. Da da da. Gadzooks! It appears that a large amount of debris has overtaken my farm again. I suppose I will have to fetch more grass starters to try once more to combat this never ceasing tide of rocks and sticks. Dumpty dumpty dum dum dum. Err. Heavens to Betsy, I'm all out of grass starters. No! I will need to take time out of my busy and otherwise productive schedule to visit Pierre's and buy more of them. Except. Dun dun dun! Oh, what poor timing! No! Now I will have to endure this debris epidemic even longer. Will these tragedies never cease? Dumpty dumpty dum. Hello, Beatrix. I decided to pay you a visit, my best friend, and... Oh! What a horrible and overgrown farm you have! This reflects on you poorly, and I no longer wish to be friends. Goodbye forever and ever. No, my homie, please do not leave me. No. Dumpty dumpty dum. Good afternoon, Beatrix. I, Mayor Lewis, have decided to grant you with the Amazing Person Award for your upstanding citizenship. And, oh no, what has happened here? You've turned your grandpa's pride and joy into an eyesore and brought shame upon your family and your community. Forget the award. You're being evicted. Get out of here now! No! Has anything like this ever happened to you? It's more common than you think. Hi, my name is M. Rasmodius, and I'm here to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen to you. Studies show that 9 out of every 10 farmers will face debris-related woes in their lifetime, leading to increased levels of anxiety, loss of sleep, and worst of all, suboptimal efficiency. That's why I have partnered with, partnered with the mighty Junimos of the forest to bring you the latest arcane innovation. Dun, 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 dun. The Golden Clock! Not only will this beautiful structure make for a magnificent centerpiece to your budding farm, but by utilizing morphological quantum frequency arrays and catalytic matrices based in eighth dimensional parabolas, it, en it entirely, sorry, wait, it entirely halts the spreading of any debris on any farm. Just one of these miraculous inventions will turn your farm from this... Boo! Boo! Gross! Boo! To this! Ooh! Wow! No way! Ah, this is the life. I love having the freedom to wistfully walk the fields of Frugal Farm without a care in the world, nor any rocks or sticks to stumble upon. And I owe it all to my intelligent and not at all prohibitively expensive purchase of a golden clock from the wizard M. Rasmodius. Yes, I too enjoy the presence of the golden clock. It brings my shadowy heart such joy to wake up every day and know there will be no debris blighting our fields. Thank you, Chloe, for providing such a clean and aesthetically pleasing home for me. Oh, Chloe, your farm is pristine, and that golden clock is beautiful. Please marry me and love me for the rest of all time. Come, let's go have a romantic picnic together in the shade of this marvel of arcane engineering. Oh, geez. Hold on. <laughs> wow! Thank you, golden clock! 
It's never been so easy to achieve the farm of your dreams. With just one easy payment of ten million dollars, you can you could be living out your wildest debris free fantasies today. Invest in a golden clock right now. And scene. <laughs> Was that a step too far, chat? Did I go too far in in the in the craziness, or was that not crazy enough? I don't even know. <laughs> Where's my wallet? <laughs> Thank you to Mrasmodius for sponsoring this stream. Please buy a golden clock. I need all the money I can get. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. What was that and why did I like it so much? That was the first, that was the inaugural. A uh, show of uh, Beatrix and Chloe's Puppet Pals extravaganza. The M stands for money. So true. Hello, Wickety. I think I also saw a leap in here at some point. Hello, Leap, if you're still here. Oh my gosh. I had way too much fun putting that together. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> I did. I did break the fourth wall at one point. There was a, there was a little slip up in there, but you know, not every show can go exactly according to plan. You're so confused on what just happened. You'll have to rewind the VOD about five minutes there, Dark Slayer, and uh, <laughs> and hopefully enjoy whatever the heck that just was. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and and digress. Let me get out of my script because <laughs> I did I did not do that all on the fly. Let me move all my windows back into position and let's go and actually uh play the game. <laughs> Yuki, thank you for the two dollar super chat. By the way, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Chad, I wasn't sure. I was so nervous going into that. I was like, are people going to find this funny or is it going to be like Omega cringe? I, th I think I think it was both, but I think that's okay. I think that's just, you know, it's my brand. I'm going to embrace it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Where are we at here? Where are we at? We're not at the top. Fractured Farm no longer at the top of the list. Iron Man Farm sitting up there. Nice and purdy. All right. But now we have to actually get down to business. Also, by the way, thank you, Karita Hearts. Rainbow Capitalism Karita Hearts for being a member for six beautiful months. The Golden Clock is Karita Hearts approved. Well, at least it can't get any worse from here. Knock on wood, we don't know what's uh, what waits in, in store. There might be something that none of us have thought of yet that we're just, you know, we didn't, don't know that we should be dreading. And Lunar Shadow with the 499 Super Chat. For the sheer amount of effort put into putting on a puppet show. Thank you. I want. I hope my puppets were okay. I want to make them, you know, look look high quality puppets. Beatrix was kind of an old model puppet. She was uh, from before time where we had our new outfit, but it's okay. Speaking of, I kind of want to switch up our outfit a little bit. I was playing around in between streams, and I think there there are actually like some fun little things we could do. I really like this shirt. I kind of want to try this one, and then I think there was another hat as well potentially, maybe. Just to, just to, you know, mix things up a little bit. Actually, you know, the straw hat goes really well. Like, if we do... What if we... How do you feel about a little bit of this? A little bit of this. And maybe we even do some space boots. For the matching purples. It's, an, it's a nice sort of summery outfit, in my opinion. I kind of like this one. I think we're going to rock this for a little while. More than six slots, I know. What the heck? But the Lucky Star shirt? The Lucky Star shirt lives on forever in our hearts, but we can't... I can't force Beatrix to wear the same shirt for the rest of all time. Change the skirt? We only have two skirts. <laughs> I could go with this skirt. This. What if we go with this one? This is like... Nah, I like the pink better, honestly. The purple and the pink. Not everyone can pull it off. Beatrix does it right, though.
$25 a day from the Joja Cola machine, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We're gonna have to pull out all the stops. So, um, that's the thing, right? That's the question on everybody's mind. How are we gonna afford a golden clock? We have to make another $8.3 million, roughly, in order to afford this darn thing. Um, what is the plan? And to be honest, I don't know if I have... I have some ideas of things that I want to do. I have some uh, some plays that I feel like we should make. The first of which is probably going to be to scrap this whole shebang. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love this little field, and I think I want to repurpose it for something else. But I don't think that watering this many crops every single day for the, like, the foreseeable future is that productive of a way to use our time. We can be a little smarter about this. We can definitely be smarter about this. And I think I have found a palatable way to do so. I think we're gonna go ahead and try to make use of our sprinkler area over on the far side of the farm. We can't, we're gonna have to, you know, suck up some mining experience and stuff to clear out all the rocks and everything that are over there. That's not that big of a deal. I just have to make sure to maintain it properly and to set it up properly. But I did a little bit of testing, and I think we can definitely make good use of that. We won't be able to get as many crops as this, but we'll still be, get, be able to get a, a, like quite a few crops, and it'll be more, um, it'll be less time consuming to actually, you know, take care of them because we'll actually have iridium sprinklers and stuff. Hello, Miss Palindrome. That duck was saved. Yeah, the duck was saved. In fact, I think Robin's currently building us a second coop right now. So, so that we're gonna go ahead and uh, make use of that at a certain point in the future. Eat the rock. <laughs> just like Abigail. I'm just like Abigail, for real, for real. I'm transforming more into Abigail every single day. I'm wearing purple now. I was like, I was a goth queen before, and now I'm purple. Beatrix just channeling her inner Abigail. She doesn't even know who Abigail is. Hey there, Ika. Love whatever song this is. This is from the Celeste soundtrack. Hold on, I can get you the, I can get you the name here. That's first steps from the Celeste soundtrack. Hopefully not too loud. I do think that the normalization is sort of working. I don't know if it's working all the way as much as I like it to. I would like to fine tune it a little bit to make sure all our music is, you know, at a at a soundable level. But this definitely feels more reasonable than it did last time. At least in my ears, maybe it's different for you. In fact, it almost always di is different for you. Celeste does have some of the best music ever. It's it's undeniable fact. Go to any Reddit video game music thread. It's like, what's the best song in any video game? Celeste is in the conversation for sure. Chat, what's the best song in any video game? I have one in mind. And it's not from Celeste, but it's it's a really good song. I think I think of it every single time I, this this sort of discourse comes up. And it's not like a hot take either. This is like a this is a song most people here would probably know, I think, but I don't wanna say it yet. I don't wanna I don't wanna throw it off. I mean B boss is too unfair of a pick. B underscore boss dot OGG, that's that's like if you're playing like in the Pokemon meta and you're playing in OU and you just bust out a Mega Rayquaza. That's just it's just not fair. It's in its own it's in a league all its own. Mario JK Hat in Time. Legend of Zelda shop music. It Legend of Zelda music goes hard, especially the shop music. The one that comes to mind for me every time is Gangplank Galleon from Donkey Kong Country. It is such a bop, dude. Oh my gosh. And the and the remixes and stuff that go into it's it's so good. It's so un unreasonably good. New songs are still a bit too loud. I can probably just tone down the volume a tad. What if I just tone it down like a little bit there? I don't know if that's even noticeable, but I did I did tone it down a little bit. Good evening, Zeta Rose. High Noon Hoopla from Cuphead is pretty good. I don't know any Cuphead songs. I've never played Cuphead. I probably should at some point. 
All right, I think, yeah, so I think we want to make use of this area here. And let me actually show you, I did a little bit of planning in between streams. This is, I didn't do as much planning for like golden clock eventualities as I wanted to, but this is something that I did actually plan. So let me, let me pull it up because I have a little screenshot here I can share with you. This is sort of what I think we're going to be going for. We get two Junimo huts. We get 10 Iridium Sprinklers. Uh, the four Rare Crows do not have to be Alien Rare Crows. Uh, they're just the ones that I picked for, for that. And this this seems to cover all the tiles that we need. I know Miss Palindrome shared a, uh, a variation of this one in the Discord, because I posted this in the Discord. And uh, you can do you can like save more tiles if you do four Junimo Huts to cover the, all the spots instead. But I think that's just a little bit, little bit too cute for me. It's a little too cute. Too much of an investment in Junimo Huts. So I think this is probably the way I want to go. Because we can just, we can move our current Junimo hut and then we just build one more Junimo hut and we're golden. And then we'll repurpose the old Junimo hut stomping grounds for uh, something else. Which I have an idea for already, but that's uh, getting ahead of myself right now. So that's the, that's the current plan. It was overkill. The four Junimo huts, it was a cool idea, and it's cool to know that I could do it, but I just, you know, it seemed a little much. A little much. We do have a lot of star fruit growing, though. So I can't even be mad about that. Am I going to chop down the logs? I'm not able to chop down the logs. I don't have an axe that can do that. Um, I What I am going to do, I think, is just bomb the heck out of everything, though. I, I might as well go get my bombs and just bomb all of this. I guess I, well, I should pre-chop the trees, right? I should probably pre-chop these trees, although maybe I should wait till tomorrow because I've already done my, my watering for today and I don't want to have to redo that if I mess this up. So maybe I'll start tomorrow with the pre-chopping and then we'll bomb them and we'll, there's no getting around the mining experience that we'll get from breaking the stones, but it's the cost of doing business. Hopefully none of them contain any coal or anything. So we'll just get like one experience per stone. There's not that many of them. And then I think we're in a good spot there. Are we keeping the plant pillar fence? <laughs> there are tree columns, number one, Wickedy, excuse you. And uh, number two, I don't know. I do not know. Oh, I'll, we also have to think about the well. Here, Here's my idea for what I want to do with this area here. I would like to turn it into a little, like, animal enclosure. So what if we have, like, sort of fenced-in paths that lead from all our buildings into this area here? And then we just fill the entire shebang with grass starters. So that way the animals, you know, they can go out and they can and they can roam. They can eat food that is not hay, which is going to be, number one, less expensive for us. And number two, probably better for them. And then, uh, but they won't, like, go all around the farm. And I can sort of, you know, curate the area that they're allowed to, to munch. I feel like that's maybe a smart idea. That said, to get a, an actual path from these areas into here is going to be a little bit tricky because there's like a lot of rocks and stuff in the way already. But I think we can make it work. If I get a bunch of coal, will I reset and sleep a day to move the pattern? Depends. Depends on how much coal we get, to be honest. But we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I think for now, is there anything else that I need to do? It's Saturday. Friday is Iridium Sprinkler Day, right? Because we need 10 Iridium Sprinklers for the layout that we're going for. I don't think we have that many saved up just yet. I could move the buildings closer together, that's true. That might be part of our master plan at the end of the day here. Where are the Iridium Sprinklers at right now? They're probably in here. JK, probably here. Alright, five Iridium Sprinklers. We need five more for our master plan. Am I smart? <laughs> it depends on your definition. Depends on the day you ask and the definition. There's there's many different ways to interpret that question. And I don't think I'm qualified to answer any variations. Yeah, Friday is a Redeem Sprinkler Day. Is Starfruit our only source of income? Right now, our main sources of income are going to be the crops via the Junimo huts and, um, and our animals. So, one thing I do realize I need to do, because we got our second coop almost up and running here. Robin is currently building it. I don't remember how many days are left on that. Um, I think we ha we already have an auto-grabber, right? We have one auto-grabber ready to go. 
Because we managed to pick one up on our last trip to Skull Cavern, I think. Auto grabber. It's got to be around here somewhere. Where would I have put an auto grabber? Chat, I know I have an auto grabber. There it is. Okay, auto grabber right there. So we just need one extra auto petter. What all can we actually ship right now? Let's have a look. We can ship eggplants, iridium bars, red mushrooms, magma caps, and bone fragments. None of those are, are standout money makers to me. Magma caps could be kind of fun to get them from crates in the volcano dungeon. We could sell iridium bars that we get from Skull Cavern. Those are those are kind of the main standouts right now. We could either buy an auto petter from Jojamart, or we could go spelunking again. Would today be a good day to try spelunking? I know it's already very late in the day. Okay, we didn't miss out on anything anyway. Auto petter and iridium sprinkler treasure run. Oh, that's true. We can get iridium sprinklers from the from Skull Cavern too. All right, I think that's I think that kind of settles it for me then. There's nothing else I need to do today. I think we just sleep and we try and get a good luck day for some Skull Caverns runs. Yeah, Skull Caverns are a lot of fun. Skull Caverns are more fun, and I think we should be able to get some money out of them one way or another. Let's see. What do you got for me? Bat luck day? You hate to see it. Alright, what we are going to do is we're going to go pre-chop all these trees so that I can get this area nice and clean and clear for our inevitable paving the way for more for more Junmo huts and stuff. Hey there, Charlo J. Good to see you. Yeah, I totally spaced on the Iridium Sprinklers for uh, from from Skull Cavern. Thank you to thank you to Wickedy, and I know some people were saying it before. And I think I just kinda glossed over it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully none of these were pre-chopped at all before, because I'm going to go nine on all of them. I have no no fear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. I already pre-chopped this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, ro, hatch, itch. I don't know. I, I, that, that one I don't know as well. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And last one. Last one. Hold on. Do a little bit of loop de loo here. Loop loop de loo me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're also. I can't quite get to that one, but that's okay. It'll get caught in the crossfire anyway. So that's all pre chopped now. I should go to Calico Desert as well today to trade all my jades that I currently have for staircases. I don't know if I have that many jades to trade, but the more staircases I can have, the better our odds. Also, what is our luck food situation looking like? If we're going back to Skull Caverns, you want to at least have some pumpkin soup. We do still have five pumpkin soups. We should maybe check in with Gus on the off chance that we get some more lucky lunches or anything. Dude, I'm so amped. Tom Ka soup. That is not lucky. I'm so amped because, like... Last stream, last randomizer stream, when I had, uh, when we first got the goal for the golden clock, I was like, oh, oh no. And then over the past week, I kind of internalized it, went through all five stages of grief, and you've caught me now in acceptance, and I'm here to just accept life as it, as it stands. I should probably grab the jades if I'm going to trade them. And just enjoy the ride. We're going to find fun ways to make money. I, like, I want to I wanna do Skull Caverns. I want to have a nice little farm set up. I want to have a nice little enclosure for our animals. I want I want to build a slime hutch, dude. Did I mention that already? I want to build a slime hutch. I want to do more Skull Caverns. What, maybe even throw in some Volcano Dungeon runs in there. An Aquamarine I have not yet donated. I might as well donate that. 62 Jades. That's actually kind of crazy. And we have 215 staircases on top of that. Holy... We're so good, absolutely true. 
The only problem with Skull Caverns runs is that I never know, especially at this point, I don't know when I'm going to want to stop. Like, what is going to be a good calling point for, for treasure rooms, you know? 62, baby. All right, we'll run this back. I love that she waved to me. That's so cute. I love when, when she waves and when the traveling merchant waves. It's such a fun little animation. Let's count to 10,000. Uh, probably don't do that in, in the chat. <laughs> I think that would constitute spam. But unless, unless you could actually do it. No, we're not going to, we're not going to attempt fate on that one. Five sprinklers are bust. Five sprinklers in one run. Can it be done? All right. Donate to the museum. Not going to donate any staircases. I don't think they need any here. There's only one floor. Aquamarine right over there. Perfect. Is that the last gem we needed? No, we still need... Um... Hold on, I gotta look at it. What are you? Hematite? That's hematite. What is this? Chat, what is this? I knew, I knew this in my brain, but I don't remember what it is anymore. Is a slime hutch worth it? I don't know, but... <laughs> it's gonna be making more money than the... Like... 30 farm tiles is placed on. Even if that money is, you know, just like a, a couple hundred or whatever. Esperite? I think Esperite is correct, yeah. Let me see here. Any of these other ones Esperite? I don't see Esperite in here. I think I would recognize Esperite, so I think I think you're correct, Wickedy. Esperite. Pod also had it. You guys are so cracked at at recognizing gemstones. Esperite was your last gem too, so I guess that's why you know. You just know sight on scene. It's like, that's Esperite. I would know that's my soul gem. It's my birthstone. I don't know what my actual birthstone is. Isn't it, is birthstone related to like just the month you were born? Or is it like zodiac signs? Or how does that work? I haven't thought about birthstones or the related uh, ramifications of them. In a long time. Your last is sandstone right now. <laughs> How do you get away with your last being sandstone? That's so funny. By a month? Month you were born. So what's what's the birthstone for December then? I want to. I'm gonna say emerald. I'm gonna say emerald. That's my guess. Um, what are we looking at? What are we trying to do today? Oh, did I water all my crops? I definitely did not water all my crops because I did. I did the pre-chopping. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't do the watering before that, so we gotta go. Gotta go water here. It's turquoise, you think? Wickedy is a ruby. Lunar shadow, sapphire. Turquoise for December. I'll take turquoise. Turquoise is a great gem. Blue baby. May is emerald. Okay. Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker. Look, look, looking like a diamond in the rough. We've got our second coop now nice and built. I suppose I should get Robin to upgrade that next, right? I guess I probably just go do that right away. Just, just get it slated for an upgrade because we're going to want that at maximum coop strength before we can make any real money out of it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to eat some salads just to say it's topped up on energy. And we'll go to Robin and get that taken care of. Then we'll come back and finish our watering for the day. Your, yours are Pearl, Alexandrite, and Moonstone. How come your mom lets you have three birthstones? What the heck? Hey, Pi. You hate wa water and food, so useless and oxygen. Dude, oxygen is cringe. Isn't ox oxygen's not even the most common uh, element? What am I looking for? I'm looking for wood and stone. Now, oxygen's not even the most common element in the atmosphere, right? It's like nitrogen. I'm pretty sure it's nitrogen. Why don't we breathe nitrogen instead? I mean, we do obviously. We inhale it, but it's like oxygen is the one that we actually need. Or do we also need nitrogen? Chat, if the if the air was just like lost all of its nitrogen right now, would we die?
I mean, we probably would die eventually from something, because obviously the nitrogen is kind of there. It's, it's there for a reason. But, like, would we die of suffocation? Eat salad? No, I want to open this door instead. Common mistake in actions. Alright, we're going to upgrade to a large coop. No, I don't want to paint the buildings. We'll save that for another day. Save that for our painting stream. Don't want to move the buildings either. Nice try, though. Just click the hammer. 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. 100% reason to remember the name. Nitrogen in the atmosphere is so stable that it just doesn't really do anything. Chat, is it true that the third most common gas in the atmosphere is argon gas? Am I, is, do I have such a claim to fame? I mean, I can't claim any fame over that. That would be stolen valor for sure. I don't know, maybe it's not the third most common, but it's like up there, right? Or CO2. CO2 is not like an element, though. I guess, it, I guess if we're just talking gas, maybe CO2 is higher. Argon is the third most common at almost 1%. No, no way. Now, what would happen if we lost all the argon in the atmosphere? Now, there's a conundrum, right? Hold on, I'm going to go turn on my fan real quick. It is a scorcher of a day today. I got so scared earlier because it, it looked like I looked outside and it looked like the sun had gone out. Like it, it just like got really dark for like three seconds and then the sun came back. It must have been something blocking the sun, but I don't know what it was. I was just like sitting here and it turned to nighttime all of a sudden and then it was and then it was not nighttime anymore. All right, we got to go finish watering. Pardon me, just getting my sea legs again as we ramp up towards golden clock greatness. I'm guessing not much would happen without argon in the air. It's, I mean, it's a noble gas. It doesn't really react with anything. There are argon-based compounds, or at least argon part compounds that argon is part of. But you have to work pretty hard to get it there, right? We didn't buy the sprinkler on Friday. Uh, the stream started on Saturday. <laughs> I trust me, I would have gone. Maybe we didn't buy the sprinkler last stream because I wasn't even thinking of it. That's entirely fair. But I'm I'm looking forward to every Friday from here on out. From here on in, history has its eyes on Friday. Hey there, Mini Rose Horse. It's been super hazy there with the smoke drifting eastward. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I think a lot of the smoke is 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 our fault. Maybe not like my fault directly, but you know, a lot of it has come from Alberta, I'm sure. That said, there's also like California wildfires and stuff, right? I don't know how how bad the fires are in California this year, but there tend to be some every year, right? Without Argon, playing Stardew Valley would probably be a lot simpler. Nah, Blade would just have to do more legwork to <laughs> to cover all these challenges instead. Someone else would do these challenges, if if not me. But the fact that I'm doing them, the people who would do them otherwise, they look at them and they're like, Oh, thank God he's doing that instead. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about it. Don't worry, I got you. I got you guys. Guys and gals and non-binary pals. Kaylin, thank you for the $5 super chat. Really been enjoying the series and able to catch and being able to catch the live streams. Good luck with the golden clock. If anyone can do it, it's me. Thank you. You have more confidence in me than I have in myself, and I have confidence in you who has confidence in me, so by the transitive property, we're doing great things together. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I think that's it for today. Well let me let me actually check on my hay situation. I don't remember. We might still be like totally stacked on hay and it's fine but I want to get a good barometer of where we're at as far as that goes so that I know when to expect to be out of hay because we're keeping the animals inside for right now just so the debris doesn't worsen too much and then once we once all those star fruit are grown 408 all right so we're still good for a little while once all the star fruit are grown then we'll start 
sort of renovating, you know? Do I listen to Bananas? Is that a band? Or are you talking about, like, Charlie the Unicorn Episode 2, Put a Banana in Your Ear? I mean, that's, that song bangs, for sure, but I don't think that's what you're actually talking about. If so, very deep-cut reference. I appreciate it. We did not end up sacrificing uh, Dubnium the Duck, no. <laughs> I thought better of it in the end. I thought better of it. I can always just, you know, experiment with that in my off time if I want to see how that event goes down. It's probably not that exciting anyway. Alright, I think we're good. No rain again today. Just like in real life. Summer is, uh, is bone dry. Although I shouldn't, shouldn't say that. These past few weeks have been kind of rain heavy and there's a large rain cloud in the distance that I can even see right the frick now. It's a neutral day. Sorry for my language, by the way. Alright. Um, we want to bomb stuff. Well, do we want to bomb stuff yet? We got all those trees pre-chopped. Maybe we don't bomb them until we're actually ready to to start renovating that area. Just in case, like, we bomb it all and then more debris spawns and then we're gonna have to bomb it again. And it's just, it would just be like a whole big thing. Maybe instead we just kind of wait. Girl, our star fruit, do any Skull Caverns runs that come our way. And enjoy the time with this, uh... This field that is not long for this world. How am I apologizing for Frick? Sorry, I said it again. That was for demonstrative purposes only, so it's okay. Look, I, I this is a family-friendly fa PG-13 stream. We might even have to bump it down to PG-12 at some point. Because, but I have to, I have to get my act together first. If I want that true PG-12 status, then we're gonna have to, gonna have to work on it a little bit. Is it a bad word now? Depends on your perspective, depends on who you ask. Like, to some people, like, every word is a bad word. Or at least words that you would not otherwise expect. I'm not going to go down that conversational route because I don't want to say any words that might seem offensive to some people but not to others. I'll just say, like, what the butt and leave it at that. It's about as far as I'm willing to go. Like, moist? I've never had a problem with the word moist. It just reminds me of, like, a chocolate cake. Have I read Phantom Tollbooth? No, but that sounds cool. It kind of sounds like an anime. That sounds like a name an anime would totally have. Phantom Tollbooth is the name of an, of an anime set in 1940s Kyoto, Japan. Starring... Brock... Brisker... A gruff, no-nonsense detective who is plagued by apparitions every time he goes through a specific toll booth on his way to work. He's the only one who ever sees them. It's at 4 a.m. Sounds like a, I'd watch that show, dude. What's it actually about, though? It's a kid's book. You can't have phantoms in a kid's book. You scare them for life. Like, what's the rating on Phantom of the Opera? I don't, I don't think it's, like... I don't think they're playing it on YTV anytime soon. How are we doing here, anyway? Prismatic Shard. Prismatic Shard for the last little stint of Pride Month here, the Prismatic Junimos. Get some rainbows in chat. Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom's not a real Phantom, he's a Poltergeist. It's a different thing, different uh, different classifications of ghosts. Just a, the name is just a misnomer.
love me, but it's not that at all. It should be. They should reimagine it just like the way I just described it. There's prob there probably already is an anime that's close enough to what I've described that I just don't know because I don't watch anime. The only animes I've ever watched are, like, in their entirety. I've watched uh, Sword Art Online and I watched Death Note. That's about it. Are we good? I think we're good, right? Lock it in. Ollie, is today the day that you get to go free? No, I want to enjoy your presence just a little bit longer. I respect you too much. Maybe I don't respect you enough, because I, I do need to let you go eventually, but... It'll be an important lesson when the time does come, because the, t the time will come when we set Ollie free back into the ocean. And it'll be an important lesson for us all. Leave Ollie until after the gold clock, so that there's no more debris in the ocean either. You know what? It's a good idea. We'll, we'll send him back to his home, but we want to leave it better off than when we found it. Just catch Oscar instead. Maybe we have a chance of catching Ophelia now that, that Ollie is on our side. Do you think that Ophelia will respect us more now that we have uh, Ollie on our, in our corner? She'll be giving, willing to give us a fighting chance, or do you think Ophelia's just, like, been bumped up to super Omega endgame, post-endgame final boss level? Like, you're fighting... What the heck is that? It's, like, called, like, Pandemic, or something like that in Final Fantasy X. It's probably not Pandemic, but... It's like a big whale, I think. I don't know, I never played Final Fantasy X. I never played any Final Fantasy game. That's not true, actually. I did play Final Fantasy I. <laughs> so, by default, my favorite Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy I. How do you like that? Anyone playing the new Final Fantasy game? I've been seeing it making waves lately. It kind of looks like a, like a fun game. Like, I look at it, and I look at the combat and stuff, and I'm like, this doesn't look like a Final Fantasy game. It looks it looks like a lot more a lot more my speed than, than the traditional Final Fantasy might be. I might have to give it a try at some point. Final Fantasy 1 is the only one of the main series you finish to completion. It's probably, like, the shortest of all the Final Fantasy games, right? It's an NES game. There's no way it's, like, that long. I wonder what the longest NES game actually is. If you, like, played it start to finish without... Not ne not necessarily in a speedrun sense, but, you know... A good, casual playthrough with adept knowledge of the game. I wonder what the longest one would be. You're gonna get the game soon? Nice. Starting to feel exhausted. I can fix that with just a salad or two. In fact, I think we only need one salad. NES is where you played Final Fantasy 1 as well. I suppose it would have been on other platforms. But yeah, NES is where... Technically not NES. I think I played it on Wii Virtual Console. But that's like the NES version, basically. I would, I would have to imagine it's like an emulated NES. An officially emulated NES. Drink my water? Alright, fine. But only if you do a stream delay test with me. We're gonna test the stream delay. Everyone type a smiley face in your little chat box, but don't type it yet. Or, well, type it, but don't press enter yet. And I'll count down from three. When I say go at the end of it, you're gonna go ahead and press enter and put your smiley face into the chat, okay? Alright, stream delay test. So I can take a drink while I do this. <laughs> Alright, three, two... One, go. Looking like a four second delay to me. Holy. <laughs> Dude, there's always a moment there where I see like one or two smiley faces at first. And then like the lag of chat catches up and all the, the entire chat is just smiley faces. <laughs> and it makes me feel so happy. 
Chat, I learned a potential hack to even even decrease stream delay further beyond than what we have right now. Um, but it's something on your end. If you like, if you're watching live right now, and you change the playback speed to two x, like two times speed, it like kind of does like a little quick catch up, and then it'll revert to normal speed once you're, once it reaches true live hours. I don't know if that's actually it would if it would make a big difference for us, but I learned that the other day. So if you, if you want to truly minimize the delay between my voice and your fingers, then uh, that's probably the way to go. Okay, you did it. Did you do? Did it like speed it up for a considerable amount of time, or was it only like a like a two second speed up? Just did it in OMG. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> You've used that tr trick a few times before. It was around two or three seconds. I think it does make a difference for sure. Got very stutter, stuttery for a few seconds. It'll do that too, but if you do that like intermittently throughout the stream, I think it like keeps up better. Just a pro tip, I suppose. Not that it's necessary by any means. Yeah, it should go back to 1x after you're caught up. I don't think there's anything else I have to do today, right? We're currently having our big, big coop built. big coop current. This is still a very small coop. This is just a little baby coop. Where is it? Wait, is it, Chad, is this a, is this a small coop or is this a big coop? That's That might be a big coop. Is it time for the Omega coop? It's not, not today because it's Tuesday. Robin won't be in, but it might be time for Omega coop tomorrow. That one's big, not deluxe. All right. Yeah, no, I knew it wasn't deluxe, but I wasn't sure if the big upgrade was done or not yet. Even said it was live and it sped up for a few seconds. The problem is the buffer sometimes if you put it on 2x. Yeah, you got to be careful with it. But I think if your if your internet is tolerant of it, then it's a it's a helpful little tip. The speed up was like 10 seconds long for you. Hopefully, you feel a little bit more uh, in real time now. Grayish milk. All right, we're gonna go to sleep for the night. Lock it in, baby. Can I paint the Deluxe Coop? I believe, yeah, we can paint the Deluxe Coop. I think you can paint uh, paint those kind of farm buildings. Get some rain cloud emojis in chat, by the way. Rain cloud emojis. We want to keep this storm going as long as possible. Although, actually, now that I think about it, tomorrow's the Luau, so it's, it's definitely not going to rain. But it's okay. We appreciate the one day of rain that we got, anyway. Coops and barns can be painted. We'll have to decide on a good aesthetic for, for actually painting. That's one of those things that I would want to do off stream and then just like be like, hey, here's a screenshot of how I'm going to do it. And then I do it. And then everyone in chat's like, wow, you're so good at decorating and smart too. And I'd be like, oh, you stop, you guys. You stop, stop. <laughs> but stop for real though, because of my imposter syndrome. I can talk to two people at the Luau now. It's crazy. I know, right? It's wild. Is Marlin at the Luau? I can technically talk to him, too. Not that it would have any effect. I mean, talk, not talk, talking to anybody at the Luau is not going to have an effect, but... All right. Well, with the rain, that actually makes our, our job a lot easier today. We don't have to water anything, so we're basically just waiting for Robin to open. And then we can go and get ourselves a deluxe coop. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of deb debris day catch up, I think. Because if we learned anything from the ad at the start of the stream, it's that debris is uh, is not your friend. It might have been a nightmare of my own creation, but it doesn't mean it couldn't really happen for real. Good day to bomb the trees. I still don't I still don't trust myself to do it. I still don't trust it. I want to do it on a day when I'm going to also be like moving the buildings and stuff, you know. Does Marlin show up at one festival per season? I thought it was just like predetermined what festivals he was at. Like I know he's at the flower dance for sure cuz he talks about Marnie. But beyond that, I don't really remember which festivals Marlin goes to. What the heck, dude? Oh, there's there's a thing here. A little seedling. There's a really good potential joke out there with Syndrome for the Incredibles plus Among Us. Sus? It's a very sus joke. 
The internet has ruined me, and anytime I see Among Us, my brain just immediately goes sus. Starts yelling sussy. Still never even played Among Us. And I'm probably going to keep it that way for a long time, because <laughs> I don't think I really have the impulse to go play it. Alright, um, construct me a farm building. Mrs. Robin... Build me a coop, build me a coop, make it the the biggest that I've ever strooped. Select a big coop to upgrade. That one, please. Perfect. He's also at the fair. That's true, he is at the Stardew Fair. I don't think he's at... He Maybe he's at the egg hunt? I think he is at the egg hunt, because kind of, that's kind of like the introductory festival. Prehistoric skull, this is definitely mammalian. I could, I could have told you that. Among Us Sussy is a horrifying creation. Is that like the, a new SCP? Can't play deception games for the life of you. I played like one. I played like what it was like. It's like a, a secret werewolf game or whatever it was. I played that at a friend's house one time and that was a lot of fun. I think I won, too. I remember being, like, pretty cracked at it. But then I quit while I was ahead, you know? Win one and then just quit, retire from then on, and you've got a, you've got a, a perfect record. Alright, I think we're good. We got our coop upgrading now, our crops are watered. Tomorrow's the luau. Oh wait, I can't put trash in the luau soup anymore, can I? Because now that I actually have friends who are at the luau, if I try to poison them, then they'll be upset with me. God, why is having friends why is having friends so hard? You can't even like throw a puffer fish into their soup and have them laugh it off with you in the hospital. I have to like just to, like put nothing in there basically. They'll just give me, like, a weird little side eye. They'll be like, why didn't you put anything in the soup? And I'll be like, because I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to kill you. <laughs> anyway. That's how much I care about you. I don't want to kill you via poisoning. Or even make you sick. Ooh, it is a good luck day, though. We could do... Should we do, should we do Skull Caverns today in addition to the Luau? There's no reason we can't do both, I think, right? As long as we get back into town before... Uh, 2 p.m. Even then, if we don't, it's, like, not a big deal if we miss the luau, necessarily. We're gonna go pumpkin soup. Yeah, we could just ignore the luau for the first time in forever, but it's kind of tradition these days. We don't need the star fruit anymore, but it would be nice to have it. Alright, what do I need for Skull Cavern? Obsidian sword for blocking. Um, we need our staircases, obviously. Could do with a little triple shot. We got our pumpkin soup. Should go ahead and put everything else away. I think this is our... Wait, do we... I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, I'm missing the star shards. Boy, am I ever missing the star shards. I think this is alright, though. As far as, like, other things go, am I missing anything? I could bring, like, a farm warp totem, I suppose, if I really had to get out of there quick, but I don't think that's going to come to that. Do I have the starfruit for another hut? Not yet, but we have, like, almost 200 starfruit in the ground right now, so I think we'll be all right. Star shard shirt time. Ooh. You know what? We probably should. That's the black leather shirt jacket. That's not what we need right now. Yeah, baby. Fewer items is better. I'm with you. Alright, I think this is good then. Just go ahead and, uh... Vamos. I would put up, like, a poll for, like, how, how many resets until we get something useful, but I don't know when we're gonna call it useful or not. Like, we're in the market for a few different things right now. Iridium sprinklers are one for sure. Um, we need another auto petter if we can muster it. Although it's not mission critical, because we can always just buy one. And otherwise, we're just kind of looking for things that are expensive, I think, right? Oh, did we get a little buffer? Little buffer? I got zero dropped frames, so I'm going to blame YouTube for that one. 
Are we back, though? Clap if we're back, chat. Can you post a clapping emoji if we're back? Baby buffer. Clap, okay. All right, I think we're back. I think we're good then, we're good. Okay. Little, little bit more stream delay. Maybe a little more stream delay, refresh potentially, because I think that was more stream delay than last time if you posted the clap at roughly the same time that I said to post clap. I think that was maybe like a six second stream delay, but we're not gonna get bogged down in the minutia here. All right. I've got my lucky shirt on. I've got my lucky soup in my belly. It's a gold pyramid day, and we're starting off strong with a miner's treat. I thought it was a prismatic, like a little baby prismatic shard for a second. I was hyped up. Miner's treats, they're probably worth something though, right? These are probably, these are probably sell for like at least something. <laughs> Ooh, dino eggs. Dinosaur me, baby. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm looking for dinos. Looking for looking for more dino eggs, please. More dino eggs. More dino. No more dino eggs. All right, that's fair. Candy. Lollipop. Lollipop. Ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Bottom. Boom. 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 One k worth of miner streets. They're two hundred each. Yo, you know, one k. That's like point. That's like point one percent of our goal. Point zero one percent of our goal. <laughs> Yo, J Sky, thank you for being a member for one month. Can't wait to watch the VOD. I appreciate you pop popping in to say hello at the very least. Have a good one. Thank you so much for the support. Miner's Treat makes a great hat. Noted. Noted and will investigate. Thank you. You know what I care you know what I truly care about here, Wickedy. You come here for my fantastic singing. I'm sorry to disappoint you then. I do sing. I would not call it fantastic myself, but to each their own. I also adjusted the delays a little bit in my, uh, between, like, because, like, I had my, to go a little bit behind the scenes here in OBS. Hold on a second. I, want, I need to not die while I'm talking about this. In OBS, I have like a little, a slight little delay to my microphone so that it syncs up a little bit better with the game and my reactions seem a little more in line with what you're seeing. And I think it works. I mean, let me know if it feels, if it's, if you're like, oh, that's why your reactions always seem a little slow compared to what's actually happening on screen. But I put a little delay on, I put that same delay onto the music now so that my, so that lines up, so now I can like sing along with Pickle Jar Rag or whatever and not have it sound quite as bad. Maybe? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out when push comes to shove, I suppose. Can I try and say that? That emoji to me sounds like, hi. It's about my pro closest approximation. I introduced you to Hamilton. I mean, that's not because I'm a great singer. That's because Hamilton's makes Hamilton has great songs. But I'm glad to have introduced it to you either way. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, great timing, huh? Get some PJRs in chat. PJRs. Hopefully, it's not too quiet. It feels a little quiet in my ears. Let's sing to Pickle Jar Rag. See if the song sings up to my voice. Treasure for me and it's energy tonic to go in my pocket. I think that's worth a little bit. Maybe more than a... I couldn't think, I couldn't, I couldn't finish the rhyme, dude. I couldn't finish the rhyme. Why is my rhyming so very bad? It's so bad that I should be had. What does that mean? It don't think. Go catch a shad. All right. 
have I ever auditioned for Broadway? No, and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I'd rather rather not embarrass myself on the world stage, thank you. What the back to back amazing songs? Holy moly. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh my goodness. Let's go. We got we got to go fast now. We got to go extra fast with these staircases. We need to get to at least one treasure room while B boss is playing because it's the most blessed song. Come on. You know if we get a treasure room while the bees are here, it's going to be a good one. They're going to fill our pockets with, with lustrous honey. The likes of which we've never seen. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We still got 160 staircases and a dream here. Just, just one treasure room. Just one treasure room is all I need. Flower seeds, maybe? I'm thinking beyond flower seeds. I'm thinking... Bee houses. I don't think you can get bee houses out of these treasure chests. But what if? What if we could conjure them just by the sheer volume of bees that are in chat right now? Please. We got, we've got a few notes left. A few notes. One, one more floor. One more. Give it to me. This this one still counts? Okay. Rip. Imagine if we get honey. Ooh, sugar. I don't think you can get honey out of these uh, treasure rooms either. But can you get anything made with honey? Chat, what do you make? What do you use honey for in this game? You can make mead into out of honey. There's got to be something else, though, that you use honey for. I was going to say, do you use honey to make bee houses? But no, you use maple syrup to make bee houses. Farm totems. Yo, we already got some of that, then. We got some honey in our inventory right now. Farm warp totems. That is absolutely correct. Can you eat honey? I feel like the answer has to be yes, but I feel like I've never seen anyone actually do it in this game. Ooh. Speaking of honey. It's the honey pot! Yo! Two iridium sprinklers? That's two weeks of Krobus saved. I think we lock that in. We got 100 staircases for a future run. 105 staircases. I think we lock this in. Two iridium sprinklers is pretty big. I don't think we go any further. I think we, we take that, cash it in, and we still have time to hit up the luau. Yeah, baby! Or do I have time to hit the luau? I should be watering my crops, I guess. I should be, like, a responsible adult. But at the same time, I want to go see my friends at the luau. Enjoy some lukewarm soup covered in sand flies. Oh, I did forget to I did forget to check for a, for a freebie back-to-back -back treasure floor. You're not wrong. Surprised we're not solely min-maxing eggplant. Hey, it's not fall yet. Um, yeah, let's go to the luau. Why not? Party it up at the luau. Try and do a little bit of watering after the fact. Even if we don't end up watering everything, it'll be fine. But I want... I, I came back in time for the luau. I'm gonna hit up the luau. Wanna walk with me to the luau, Evelyn? Sorry, you're a little too slow. Can you be less slow next time, please? Thanks. So strange to have friends. Alright, I can also... I can buy one star fruit if I wanted to. There's really not much of a point, though. That just feels like a waste of $3,000. Marlin is here. How about that? I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. He's just like me. Governor? Who cares? Governor? I hardly know her. Why should I care about some random old guy? Amen, brother. 
free buffet. One of the one of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. I'm enjoying getting to talk to people for the first time ever. Ah, uh, one day, one day. For now, I guess we just don't do any. Do I even have anything in my inventory that could go in here? An energy tonic? I've never even considered the remote possibility of putting an energy tonic into the luau soup. What the heck would that? What kind of response would that get? I didn't think this would be possible. What on earth? <laughs> it doesn't let me do miner's treat or salad, but it lets me do energy tonics. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because I would either lose friendship or gain friendship, I'm sure. But I don't. I, that's, that's a new one on me. You can test it out some other time, but <laughs> I don't want I don't want to jeopardize anything right now. Not after that great skull cavern run. Good response. I mean, like, what if you just like threw a bunch of protein powder into a into a soup? Would that be good? Would you even taste the, di the taste the difference at all? If it was just like basic protein powder, because that's, that's kind of what I equate an energy tonic to is like a protein shake or something. Or an energy drink. I suppose that's probably more accurate. Not bad, but it's missing something. Could use a little hint of energy tonic. I like the orange flavor myself. It's a good response. Just checked. Would it have been good enough to gain hearts with people? Because we don't want that. Or would it just be good enough to be like, make everyone think like, hey... Whoever put that energy tonic in there, you're all right. But like, not like actually care that much about me. That would be the platonic ideal. All right, battery pack. Should I sell? Should I start selling battery packs? I mean, I can't ship them obviously, but I could sell them directly to Pierre. What else are we shipping here? I don't really need these miner streets. I don't think they may might be good for befriending Maru at some point, but actually, you know what? We'll save them. Why not? A little cooked dish could go a long way. Robin buys the battery packs? You're probably right, actually. Okay, anything else? Energy tonics? I think I can just toss the energy tonics, to be honest with you. I could eat the Myers treat, that's true. <laughs> to what end, though? To what end? All right, energy tonics. I think they're not, I mean, they're def definitely not part of the shipping collection, so that's fine. Save the rain totems, save all the totems, save the wood, save the uh, iridium sprinklers. I think everything else, yeah, we're good here. Do I still have time to go water my field? 10.30, I got until 2 a.m. Or do I just, just suck it up that I didn't do the watering today because I'm pretty sure I didn't water today, right? I just went straight to Skull Cavern. So, like, when would I have watered, I guess? Dude, there's got, there has to be more rain totems somewhere. Maybe I didn't save any from previous Skull Caverns runs. Save the energy tonics for when I do clay farming again. It's not a terrible idea, actually. As it is, it is a good energy source that I didn't have to pay for, but they're gone to the void now. Well, they might be recoverable from the chipping bin, but I have I have life elixirs. Life elixirs kind of do that trick too. Although I did pay for these life elixirs. Thirty-six battery packs make that thirty-seven, baby. I'm not gonna have time for two harvests of star fruit anyway. True, that's very true. Should I start yoinking my mushrooms every day for extra income? Part of, me sa part of me says no, but my heart says yes. We're not going to worry about watering today, because I think you're, you are right. We're not going to have two harvests anyway. But I will take these. We'll use some of our star fruit for... Junimo huts. We'll use nine of them for that, and then we'll use... We'll basically sell all the rest directly to Pierre for 
for major money. But I considered Casino Manip as a source of as a source of money. I've considered the casino. Manipulation? It's a little outside my wheelhouse, but I mean I could look into it, I suppose. Is that where you like just win Calico Jack over and over and over again and you just like make as much money as you want? That might be a little too far for me, but. Ooh, hold on. We gotta we gotta I remember what Wiki said now. I gotta tailor one of these minor streets as well. I don't know what it makes. We'll make one. Yeah, life is life elixirs will store energy too. It said it said 200 energy right on it. Unless they're lying to me, wouldn't be the first time life elixirs lied, I guess. All right, no rain today. That's fine. Is our shipping collection still pristine as ever? It is. Ooh. Get some shipping cherry wine in here. I will never sell this cherry wine, by the way. Okay. Let's go do our watering proper this time. I was hoping for a rainy day, but I should have known it wouldn't, uh, the game wouldn't be quite that kind to me. Not after I shirked my responsibilities yesterday. They're not gonna be like, oh, here's an easy day for, you know, not doing your jo job yesterday. That said, I'm, isn't tomorrow like, all, like always a rainy day? Tomorrow's Alex's birthday, right? That's how I always remember this. Alex? I've, I've never met Alex before. Alex who? I want to say it's the 13th, and I want to say it always rains. Ooh, also, Iridium Sprinkler Day. You gotta go buy one today. Don't let me forget that. We're currently up to 7. We need 10 for our Master Strategy. That would be funny if Life Elixir was just straight up wrong for both health and energy. Yeah, I think the energy count is right. It said 200 energy, and I'm, I'm willing to take it at face value. I know it's not zero energy, despite the name Life Elixir on it. Always rains on the 13th and the 26th. That's easy to remember. Unlucky number 13, and double unlucky number 26. This music is from Celeste, yeah. Chat, why do odd numbers seem less lucky overall than even numbers? Seven is an outlier. Seven is a very lucky number, at least in, you know, the standard cultural zeitgeist. But, like, by and large, even numbers just feel better than odd numbers. What's the, what's the rationale behind that? Seven and three are both considered lucky. But in China, eight is considered very lucky. It just like depends where you go, really. Most of your numbers of choice are odd numbers. My lucky number is 18. Don't ask me what my 18th goal in the randomizer is, though. That's uh, that doesn't count for anything. You, this proves nothing. Even numbers have the knowledge of being divisible by two as definite. Have the knowledge of being divisible by two as definite. I mean, that's how you define even numbers: is that they're divisible by two. Which means that zero is even. I think that was a que that was like a question that tripped me up on some math test way back when I was in elementary school or middle school or something. There was like a question that was like, is zero an odd or an even number? And I'm like, is it both? But no, it's an even number. There there is no case for zero being an odd number. Just doesn't fit literally just doesn't fit the definition unless unless it does though humans are used to having things in pairs plus prime numbers while cool throw some people off balance and prime numbers are always odd except for two 
That's a good explanation. I'm willing to take that at face value and do no further research of my own. Disagree, it's neither. It's literally not, though. Zero is, by definition, an even number. Because the definition of an even number is that it's divisible by two. Is zero evenly divisible by two with, like, no remainder? It is, so it, it is even. What about negative zero? That just, I mean, <laughs> now we're getting into crazy town. But you can't divide zero? Yes, you can. Zero divided by two is zero. You can't divide by zero, but you can certainly divide zero. Let's go tailor this miner street, by the way. Zero is definitely even, but it's not negative or positive. I'm with you. Zero, zero is weird in a lot of ways, but it is it is clearly definable as as even for sure. Cool hat time. I'm excited. I feel like I've I've noted that before that like miners tree makes something cool when you tailor it, but I don't remember what it makes. Also, let's not be a, a plebeian here. Let's let's ride to Emily's in style. Ride in on the back of Iota. Maybe it'll be even a good hat for Iota. We'll see. Also, Iridium Sprinkler, I won't forget. It's in the same general vicinity here. How you doing there, Sam? Sam is trying to do a kickflip. One, one of these days, he'll get it. He's been working on it for nine years. Maybe year 10 is where he hits his stride. All right. Miner's treat, cloth, gonna make a cool ghost cowboy hat. You love to see it. Ah! <laughs> that was a heck of a music stinger for a propeller hat, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, little propeller hat, a goofy hat with a propeller on top. It's perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Hold on, we gotta try it on Iota for sure. In <laughs> propeller hat intensifies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like a propeller helmet on Iota. Hold on a second. It, it, that looks like a straight up like safety helmet. We're gonna fly away. Dude, imagine if you were riding around and the prote propeller went all like it actually propelled, you know? It spun. Aw. Oh, that would make this like that would, that would make the entire game an order of magnitude better. It is kind of cute. It's so good. <laughs> it's so cute, Iota. I love it. I love this for you, Iota. My precious girl. <laughs> Plus one speed. All right, Iridium Sprinkler me, please. We are at eight out of the required 10 for our perfect setup. Technically the last two aren't even like that required. But they're still required if we want to do literally zero watering. Wait, does the hat spin when it's on your head? Hold on a second. Hold on, Iota, I gotta borrow this. Does it spin when it's on my head? No, it absolutely should. It's, 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 it's such a missed opportunity. Wait, can we rock out with this hat now? That's even better. Chat, this is so good with our outfit. What the heck? <laughs> Trade hats real quick. Let's work it. And if we switch back to our little our little plum shirt as well. Little plum button down. I'm here for it. It looks like I'm going to a birthday party. And it's a party every day on this farm. So I'm here for it. Dye skirt purple. I kind of like the pink though. I, I feel like the pink is a good accent to the purple, especially with this hat now. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like this is pretty good. All right, did we water today? We did water today, okay. Propeller should spin and the swings should swing. I think I saw a model in time 
that makes the swings swing at the at the park by the community center, if that's what you're referring to. I'm pretty sure I saw that modded in one time. Neutral day. I think we still have enough staircases to make another Skull Cavern run pretty viable. Is our starfruit ready today, or does it still need, like, another day or two? I never remember how long these things take. I want to say, like, 14 days, so we probably got a, a little bit longer to go here. I could rain totem it up, but I probably would rather save the rain totems for a more special occasion. They don't? They don't what? The star fruit doesn't take doesn't take fourteen days. Does it take twelve days? There is a mod called Animated Clothes. Hold on, BRB downloading new mod real quick, <laughs> and it works on the hat. I mean, what else? That that has to be that had to be the impetus for making the entire mod was that hat. To be honest with you, oh hold on, Mushroom Cave as well. Mushroom Cave. I need to get back in the habit of uh, of doing that. We're pulling out all the stops. We're not, we're not, we might not go for the most efficient money-making strategies around. But no one can diss our variety when it comes to money-making strategies. We'll have mushroom caves, we'll have skull caverns runs, we'll have animals and crops, we'll have a little volcano action probably at some point. No, no one can step to us. We're even going to go sell this oil. Actually, I'm, I'm going to save the oil for potential cooking in the future, but... Sarah Poshel, welcome on in. Good to see you. Yeah, we planted. Oh, you're right. We did plant. We planted the star fruit on like summer fourth, so it's probably going to be even a little while longer. Absolutely valid. Drink the oil. You first. Without even looking it up, I can pretty much guarantee you that there was an internet challenge at some point that's like, I'm doing the olive oil challenge where you drink a tablespoon of straight olive oil. That's that's 100% something that happened. I'm not making that up. I, I don't know for a fact that it happened, but I know for a fact that it happened, if you know what I mean. It's in stage four. Chat, was there a drink the oil challenge or not? And if so, did you partake? Coop is deluxe now, by the way. You'll love to see it. I suppose I should buy some animals for my new deluxe coop. We also might want to invest in another silo. Is it is a good rule of thumb to have one silo per farm building, like per barn slash coop, or do you not need that many? Because I feel I feel like once we have another full coop, then we're going to be a bit in over our head. What the heck? <laughs> My one lonely little star fruit here. No, dude. That's not- that's the wrong emote? That's the wrong emote, Beatrix. That's the wrong feeling to- I know you've never had to deal with this feeling before of- of a dead crop. Can we get some 07s for the- for the lightning struck star fruit, please? Gone before it's time. You know what would be kind of a cool potential mod or feature for Stardew Chat? Is what if when lightning struck one of your crops, what if it was like a 98% chance that it just killed it outright like it already does? But then there's like that, that slim little 2 or 1% chance, however low you want to make it, that it turns it into like an Omega crop. That it turns it, it's like, there's like a level beyond Iridium quality. It's like lightning quality, and it and that's the only way you can, that you can get it. I'd be here for that, or some other cool benefit. Because I feel like if lightning strikes one of your crops, 
especially if you've done everything to prevent against it. I, I mean, you should get some kind of some kind of fun ch fun chance for something there. But it can't be a guarantee because otherwise you just never use lightning rods. But the crop just crashes the game. Superhero crop. Gives you radioactive ore. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be a neat way to get, like, early radioactive ore, potentially. It wouldn't make that much sense from, like, a scientific perspective. Then again, we're trying to build a golden clock that halts the flow of time when it comes to debris on our farm, so... I don't know how much science has a bearing around here. If lightning hits a fruit tree, the fruit tree produces coal. I knew, I, I did know that. I've never seen it happen in vivo. But I did know it. Oops. My axe isn't strong enough to break this, by the way. Chat, would you eat an apple that's been struck by lightning in real life? Like, if there was just an apple sitting out there on the ground that got struck by lightning, would you go out and, like, and pick it up and eat it? Just sight on scene. Holy moly. I gotta, I gotta prune this hardwood forest just a wee bit here. Do we have a dino in the coop? There's a dino in the incubator, but he won't hatch until we move something out of that coop, so we're gonna have to... I think the plan is to suck up a little bit of experience to move an animal from, our, from one coop to another. And then, uh, and then the dino can hatch. Which, which is probably something I should just do today, to be honest with you, now that the coop is ready. Yes, for science. How much XP is it? It should only be like 5 XP for talking to the animal, right? Fried apple probably wouldn't try, probably would try. Yeah, honestly, I mean, it would probably be good. An egg is ready to hatch, but the building is full. All right. Which one of you lucky sons of the guns is going to move to live by yourself in, in our new coop. Who is going to get a coop all to themselves, chat? Are we going duck, void chicken, rabbit, or chicken? Duck, duck. I mean, we did, the, the plan was originally for a duck. Which one of these is Dubnium, though? I kind of want to do Dubnium the service of, because I feel bad that Dubnium was potentially on the chopping block. Which one of you is Dubnium? I got a soul read Dubnium here. This one looks so plump. Dubnium? Dubnium! Let's go! <laughs> I know my ducks. I know my ducks like nobody else does. Impossible to tell, Pelinar? You were saying. You were saying? Dubnium looks really happy today. Hopefully you'll still look happy after this. Please choose a coop for your duck. You get the penthouse suite of coops, Dubnium, all to yourself. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Home changed. <laughs> Is that the most cursed message I've ever seen? <laughs> Chad, that's bad. That, had, that had extreme you do not own a horse energy. It was just home changed and there was nothing in the box. That kind of threw me for a second. There's home changed. Chat, what if you woke up one morning? Ima imagine this. Imagine this creepypasta. You just go to bed one night, you wake up one morning, and the first thing you see in the lower left-hand corner of your vision is a pop-up that says Home Changed with no other context. How would you feel? <laughs> home Changed, empty brackets. How are we doing here? Holy... But then you suddenly know how to swim. All right, so will our dinosaur hatch now? A new baby, dot, 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 lizard, dot, 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 hatched. Grelly, Grelly the grouchy dinosaur. We got ourselves a dino baby. All right, what are we naming the dinosaur? We're naming all our coop animals after elements. Not elephants, but elements. Blizzard the wizard lizard, classic. Dinobium. Um, what is a good elemental name for a dinosaur? I feel like this dinosaur's name... Petroleum? 
Kryptonite. Krypton could be good. Oh, there's so many good... There's so many potential, like, cool options. Isn't there... What if... Wait, isn't... I'm trying to think. There's one that's, like, really good, but I can't think of it right now. Radon, Xenon. Xenon, because he's not like other girls. Zirconium. Ooh, Zirconium, though. Frick it, dude. You're Francium. Everyone say hello to Francium. Francium the dinosaur. Probably the worst option. <laughs> but it is quite the name. It's like Francine, but not quite. Look at all this hay that you get to yourself, Dubnium. You're so you're you're the best duck. Don't tell don't tell any of the other ducks, but you're my favorite duck, okay? Alright. Francie. Alright, Starfruit officially watered. Duck officially moved. Dino officially hatched. So now the dinosaur. How long does it take for a dino to grow up? Well fed duck. Because once once we get a once we get Francium to grow up, we can start getting more Dino eggs from her, and then we can put those Dino eggs in the coop with Dubnium and just have we can have a full coop of Dinos if we wanted to. I don't know if that's the way we're gonna go. I don't know. I still don't really know what our best monetary play for this next coop is. Like obviously, rabbit's feet sell for the most, but rabbit's feet are also not a guaranteed drop, right? Dubnium will think he's a dino and it's going to be great. If I feel to just fill all the rest up with dinos. He's an, he's an honorary dinosaur for sure. Let Dubnium swim. Free Dubnium. Will Dubnium swim, chat? What are, the, what are the mechanics behind a, behind a duck swimming? Is it literally you just have to pet the duck one time and, and it's good to go? King of the dinos. I'm kind of getting sold on this dino duck idea. They swim after being pet that day. He just needs to be near water. Dubnium. So, so this is the only day that we might get to see him swim, is what you're telling me. He's so close to water. Come on, Dubnium, come on. We got a few hours. We got a few hours. We can make this work. Dubnium. D there he is. There he is. Happy little Dubnium. Launching some grass. Come on over here, buddy. Come on. Come on to the water. Don't forget to gra get the grabber, at least. You're not wrong. I didn't think about that. There's no auto petter in there. Dubnium's gonna be real sad real soon. One hour for Dubnium to swim. Dubnium? Aw. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that was a quack of protest or a quack of compliance. Where you, He's trying to go home. <laughs> he's trying to go back to the other coop, dude. Close the door? No, we're not doing that test. Dubnium. Please, you're, break, you're breaking my heart here, buddy. You're breaking my heart. He's, he's, he's just, <laughs> just made a beeline straight back in. He's like, I'm tired of this nonsense. Get me home. All right, fair. Let's go get our auto petter. Sorry, auto grabber. We could buy a new, a new petter from Joja. That's true. But we're going to do more Skull Cavern runs anyway. So if we just happen to get an auto petter from that, then we don't want to don't want to waste our money because an auto pet or a joja it's like 50,000 right it's it's no joke um i feel like i should build another another silo i don't know if i ever got a concrete answer on that but i think a silo is definitely in the cards for us at some point here we have i, I need to get more copper though clint is not open right now so we'll just we'll have to wait on that one but i can at least do my first copper bar for that Auto petter is too rare, though. We already got two auto petters, though, from uh, from Skull Cavern. Saying it's too rare. 
Maybe we'll get 15 more staircases just to bolster our odds even further. Reset. Yeah, Dubnium just decided to chill today, and you know, we have to respect that. I know how much we all want to see a duck swim. Myself more than anyone else. The day will come. We'll get to see our ducks swim. Don't you worry about that. Just turns out today is not that day. Dubnium was not feeling it that day, and we, we cannot pressure him. All the ducks in Stardew are male, right? Because, like, they're, like, green heads. But then it doesn't make sense because they also lay eggs. But I thought, I thought all green-headed ducks were male. Is that just, like, a, an idiosyncrasy of, of the artwork? Or is that, like, am I just wrong on something there? Non-binary ducks? Male ducks don't lay eggs. I mean, that much I know. But I also thought that green-headed ducks were always mallards. Gender queer quackers. Hold on, I gotta get my auto grabber. Auto grab me. Grab the auto grabber. All the animals in Stardew Valley are intersex. Does Marnie calls them she though, right? Like every time, like, like she is like, she's like, all right, I'm gonna send the, I'm gonna send Dubnium to her new home. I feel like I, I remember seeing that. Pigs are sometimes male. That makes sense, because I mean, the pigs that any any pig could sniff out truffles. I imagine. Stardew ducks gonna do what they're gonna do. No disrespect either way. Wherever they may fall in the gender spectrum, I'm just happy to have them as long as they continue to lay eggs and drop feathers for me. I'm here for it. This is cool music. It's very Halloweeny music. That's what the, the hotel in Celeste always reminded me of, was like a Halloween-style thing. Especially with this music going on. Alright, I think we're good. All animals will be female except for rabbits and pigs. So am I, am I just wrong about the green-headed ducks, or...? Hold on. Hold on. Pigs can give birth, though. Hey, Siri. Uh huh. Are green-headed ducks male? Here's what I found. Mallard identification all about birds, the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Seven ducks with green heads from bird advisors. Seven ducks with green heads, pictures with identification. We're going down the ornithology rabbit hole. The bird hole. That's a nice picture of a duck. Breeding male, breeding male, breeding male. Mallards are large ducks with hefty bodies, rounded heads, and wide flat bills. Like many dabbling ducks, <laughs> the body is long and the tail rides high out of the water, giving a blunt shape. In flight, their wings are broad and set and set back towards the rear. A fairly large duck, noticeably larger than the te than the teal, but much smaller than a Canada goose. Chat, what's a dabbling duck? Isn't that a superhero? Anyway, it's Monday. It's a new day. Let's go do our watering. Well, let's check our our daily luck first. What's the luck? What's the luck? What's the daily luck? It's bat day. Trans ducks that paint their heads green. More power to them, honestly. You got, I activated your Siri and I got and you got so jump scared. Was the jump scared as bad as when the the music just dropped right there? Some of these Celeste songs go a little too hard. I'm not gonna lie. Ducks that dabble in different crafts, of course. 
whenever I see the word craft, the first image that my brain conjures is always one of those like macaroni faces on a plate where you know you like put like glue on a plate in the shape of a face and you just dump a bunch of macaroni on top of it. And then you like pour off all the excess dry macaroni and you're left with like a smiling face on a plate. That's that's the first mental image that the word craft conjures for me. That's those and some of the best crafts to be honest with you too. Is there like high-end macaroni art? I feel like that's something that would totally exist. Is like, you know, like taking the macaroni art to the next level like some like there's got to be, like, a Mona Lisa of macaroni art. Maybe not, like, literally the Mona Lisa, but, like, the same level of prestige in the macaroni artist community. Isn't macaroni a type of bird feather? Then That's macaroon. You can see some ducks making macaroni art. They would just eat all the macaroni. Ducks are notorious macaroni lovers. Celeste Chapter 3 B-Side goes way too hard. It also is way too hard. Just kidding. It's not hard enough. The B-Sides were always a, a great level of difficulty for me. Macaroni art equals spaghetti memes. You love to eat macaroni. Does that make you a duck? Now you got it backwards there. All ducks are macaroni lovers. Not all macaroni lovers are ducks. At least I think. There's a chance. I'm gonna say it's like a 40% chance that you're that you're a duck. So like probably not, but like it's not. It's definitely still within the realm of possibility. Any ducks in chat? There's God here. How are we making the money? Right now, we are we from the start of the stream. Chat, how much money have we made? I think we've lost money. <laughs> you you got to spend money to make money. And right now, we're in the process of setting up our our infrastructure. We're finishing off this uh, this star fruit harvest. We're then we're gonna go real hard onto the. I mean, I think this coop, this coop should be a dino coop. I think that coop should definitely be a dino coop plus dubnium. Then, so we're, so we're going to need dino eggs from Francium. Or from Skull Caverns, or from Artifact Spots. Yeah, we, we've got, we got a lot to figure out here. How are the barn animals doing? I feel like we've been giving the coop animals a lot of love. Barn animals are, uh, look at all, I mean... There's a, there's a living hat waiting to happen right here, I'll tell you that. How are you guys doing? Cult of the Lamb going strong. Cult of the Lambda. Dinos make the least amount of money per day. But they're cute, though. get rabbits. I'm not about that rabbit lifestyle. There's something about having a coop full of rabbits. I, f I feel like the rabbits are too smart. I feel like they would have a rabbit uprising. And I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know what I want to, what I want to do with our second coop just yet. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for another good luck day for Skull Cavern. Ride out my crop harvest here, and then deal with the ramifications of that. We'll take 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 it one step at a time here. We'll we'll handle the crop situation first, then we'll move on to the animal situation. Then maybe once all that's sorted, we can move into like slime hutch territory and then we can like do some ginger island stuff potentially. I think there's I think we just got to take it one step at a time. Let's just take a take a moment chat and just breathe. Just breathe. And go to sleep for the night. 12:30, very long day. Hold on, mushrooms though. I dream of spongy mushrooms. 
Watership Down rabbits would come to rescue your rabbits. Didn't actually refer to the feather, but the fashion statement of having a feather in his cap. Yankee Doodle? That's why they say he has macaroni in his hat. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, saw a feather in his cap, and called it macaroni? I thought that was just them being like a little quirky. Purple mushrooms are an easy 250G, and then regular mushrooms are nice energy. And all the other mushrooms are probably, you know, they, they add up on their own in time, too, so... I think, uh, I think Mushroom Cave is probably gonna be a good investment. Ooh! Gold Pyramid, baby! Gold Pyramid. We haven't had a Star Drop luck day in forever, but I'm still gonna take the Gold Pyramid luck when I see it. Alright, drop all this off. Obsidian Edge, Salads, Pumpkin Soup... Triple shot, and staircases. Let's freaking go. I'm in the market for a couple more Iridium Sprinklers and or an Auto Petter. That would make my day. It would be absolutely beautiful. Your family tried to have a lot of rabbits, and we couldn't get them to actually have babies. <laughs> I'm not like other rabbits. Hold on, not pumpkin soup time yet. Oh, hold I didn't chat. I'm not wearing my lucky shirt. We're not going to get any treasure rooms today. The star shard luck is not with us. That's that's on me. We'll still try our best here today, but... Because we can at least we can at least get one at floor 100. That is independent of luck, but that, that's my bad. No one say anything. No one say anything. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to hear anything in chat. I don't want to hear anything about uh, superstitions or star shards. Not actually. Being that lucky, look, it's cauliflower seeds? I mean, come on, I would have rather not have a treasure room than have five cauliflower seeds. Come on, dude. It's just a slap in the face. Free money. Slime hutch coming soon. Coming soon to a slime hutch near you. It depends on if we keep this day or not. We, are, we do already have some slime eggs back at home. But our access to slime eggs is pretty limited. I mean, we can kill the slimes in our hutches to get more slime eggs in theory. But not a foolproof plan. Dinos? Dino eggs, baby? That's a lot of dinos. I feel like we see prehistoric floors very often, like more often than we otherwise should. And that can only lead to one thing, is that when we actually get the goal, that's like slay 50 pepper X, we're gonna be we're gonna spend like four streams on that. Just because we're not able to find any dinosaurs. I'm calling my shot now. Little cactus seeds, we'll take it. Could become a cactus farmer, except we can't, right? Can only be grown indoors? Yeah. Which precludes it from Junima Hut technology. The cactus fruit is too strong. Concerned Ape saw it. He saw how, how he saw the sheer omega energy radiating from the cactus fruit, and he was like, "I can't allow the Junimos to harvest this. There's no. It has to be the strongest crop in the game. Only allowed to be grown inside. Under very special special circumstances. Ooh, another auto grabber." I mean, that's kind of... I mean, we can't get auto-grabbers otherwise. We can always buy more auto-petters. This might be good enough to, like, send it, honestly. I think, we, I think we should keep going still. I would like to get more. But that might be good enough to at least lock in the day. I still want to get to floor 100 and see if we can get anything there. Because we have a guaranteed treasure room and we are, we're guaranteed to get that far. 
but another auto grabber for like if we want to get like a second barn which we probably do because like you know we got the space for it we might as well make the most of it holy moly all right what am i taking here get rid of the stone get rid of chat don't tell anyone don't tell anyone Music is bumping right now. This, I mean, this music goes pretty hard. It's that's for sure. You can always count on that. In no matter when, whenever a Celeste song plays, there's at least one person who's always going to say this is such a good song or this music is bumping. And I'm here for it. I respect. I respect your right to vibe. No dino eggs today. That's fine. Just a swarm of radium bats in a dream. Put the ruby in a crystallarium. I thought about swapping out our crystallariums for diamonds because that would be the most profitable. But I can't give up on the jades just yet, I don't think. The slime hutch beckons ever further. Yeah, we won't be able to buy auto-grabbers auto until farming level 10, which is probably a pretty long way out. It's, it's not guaranteed to be a long way out. It, like, our next 10 goals could be level up in farming. It would be extremely unprecedented, but it is technically possible. Why don't I go for any of the crates? Because I'm so laser-focused. Is, is it a floor 100 speedrun that you're watching right now? Like, that crate was too far out of the way. Most of the crates are just often just like a little too far out of the way for me to want to worry about. Alright, floor 100 coming up. Area's overrun with monsters, by the way. What the heck? 15 more cactus seeds. Ooh. All right, no back-to-back -back either. I think we take this auto petter and our other little goodies here, and we just cash it in. I know we didn't get an auto auto petter. I don't know. Chat, should we keep going? Should we cash this in? I don't know what to do. I feel like the auto grabber is such a good get because we can't get it anywhere else right now. But it's not something we need right now either. Yeah, it's the grabber, not the petter, but we can we can only get the grabbers from here, which makes this the technically better find because we can always we can just buy the auto petters. Keep going, finish out the staircases, but we can always save the staircases for another another day. Yeah, grabber is good. It feels right. Trade the rubies for spicy eel. We're not in the spicy eel market right now, but I like where your head's at. We can get the petters from here. We can get the petters from Skull Cavern. Um, but we can also buy them from Joja. We can't buy the auto grabbers yet because they're only available at farming level 10. I'm going to go with my gut on this one. Lock in the auto grabber. Take it home. I think this is going to pay dividends in the future when we get our next barn. And then uh, we'll just buy some auto petters. I don't know how long it takes for an auto petter to pay for itself, but I'm not going to put too much thought into that. I don't need an auto petter yet. Won't Dubnium's friendship go down without an auto petter to, to maintain it? Or is he just going to be at an equilibrium? Because he's not going outside, and he doesn't have the auto petter, so I have to feel like his happiness is only going down. He'll be content because he's eating, but, like, I don't know much beyond that. <laughs> we can get the second barn, yeah. We can get the second barn in confidence now. Yeah, but it's just one, it's just one duck, Simber! How could you talk about Dumnium like that? Just one duck? 
Dubnium's our special little guy. Ostriches? I thought about ostriches, but I don't think we can get an ostrich incubator in, in any way. Because we have to craft them. Yeah, let's go get the autopetter. We don't need to get two just yet. We will want another one eventually for our next barn. But I'm going to go buy one right now. Just take just take the take the cost here. I was going to let him get eaten, but I didn't because I love him. It just took me a little while to realize that it's a beautiful story of love, betrayal and redemption. And you want me to just say he's just another duck and not give him his own special luxury auto petter? Couldn't be me. That was the goal that made you give up on your randomizer run? What, craft an ostrich incubator? <laughs> it's kind of a nightmare goal, yeah. I, I'm not going to think about it too hard. Do you have the auto petters? Our favorite customer, I have exciting news for you. Joja Headquarters has approved the construction of a new Joja Entertainment Opportunity to replace the nearby Joja Snooze, Snooze, Snooze. All right, maybe some other time. Auto petter, baby. Joja, what the heck is this paragraph, dude? Joja co-patented technology for coops and barns. Keeps your animals content, but can't replace the full benefit of hand, of human touch. Hand petting can be provided can be provided to supplement. What the heck is that wallpaper? Hold on a minute. What on earth? Decorate the walls of run one room in skeletons? I mean, Halloween is coming up in a few months. Don't ask me why, chat. Don't ask me why. You don't think this is worth it at all, the auto petter? Skull Cavern or Bust. I mean, we're running pretty low on staircases, which is the only real reason that I decided to bite the bullet. There is always a chance you can get it in like 10 staircases or less. 10 sca staircases or fewer. But the odds aren't on our side for that. Yeah, no, the, the, auto, the auto petter is only 50k, not 500k, thankfully. Chad, if I replace the wallpaper in here, what happens to the old wallpaper? Do I just is it go into my inventory or is it is it gone forever? Random skeleton wallpaper. It disappears. Alright, I'm glad I didn't I didn't just switch it on the fly like that. We'd be stuck stuck with skeleton wallpaper. Which I don't know how I would feel about that necessarily. Old wallpaper is gone forever, just like in real life. Why Why is that the one thing that's the most realistic in Stardew Valley? So you can't preserve your old wallpaper. Did I water my crops today? It doesn't look like I did. Oh, yeah, I didn't because I went to Skull Cavern. You dummy. Alright. There you go, Dubnium. Enjoy. Enjoy your own private auto petter. Fresh from the factory. And let's go get our watering can and take care of business. The Pierre wallpaper and flooring catalog that has infinite is only 30k. Less than an auto petter, even. Is it worth it? I don't think it is, because, you know, I, I don't really care that much about flooring or wallpaper, to be honest. It's just that one happened to speak to me at the right moment. It caught me in a moment of vulnerability, and I decided to, to acquiesce said vulnerability. All right, put that away. Boop, 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 boop. Except I gotta reverse those. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Hey there, Squirmy Master. Hold on, I'm gonna take a little hydration break, a little hydration break. All right, I'm hydrated, let's go hydrate.
Look at the look at the organic mushroom trees, by the way. We got three organic mushroom trees here. I mean, I think the this one is like one of them is a seed from another mushroom tree, but this there's at least two fully organic mushroom trees in only nine years. Gotta be some pretty good odds, right? If I had a nickel for every time someone misinterpreted what I said during the stream, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What, what did I misinterpret? Doofenshmirtz? Are you sure you didn't misinterpret what you said and I interpreted it the correct way? Have you thought about that? Oh, you know, one thing I didn't think about with our new farm layout that, I, that I'm planning on with, like, the sprinklers and all that stuff, we're not going to have room in it to have the big plush Junimo over there. At least, like, he can he can sit on the sidelines, like, maybe with the, with the stone owls. Chicken and the stone owls, but I think it's, uh, but he can't sit in, like, the, in the field. Unless I want, unless I'm willing to lose those two spots, which I mean, we're already going to be downgrading in size. I don't know how much more of a downgrade I'm willing to take. I should do the Sardi Valley Hunger Games. I don't need to. I already know that Jazz would tear it up. She would destroy the competition. Jazz is a vicious little monster when she wants to be, you know? She's very cute and unassuming at the best of times, but put her in a Hunger Games type situation, she's she's going all out mastermind mode. She's gonna hide for like the first like four days while everyone else like gets dehydrated and takes care of each other in, in unwarranted fits of rage. And then when it's down to like her and four other people, she'll just like assassinate them all from the shadows. It's not even- it wouldn't even be a contest. The Junimo Overlord just above the field. I'm here for that. You got the code anyway if I want it. Perhaps some other time it could be a fun little side diversion for a stream in the future, but for right now, I think I'm good. Thank you, Squirmy Master. Appreciate you. Didn't need to hear that story. It's okay. It ends with uh, the revelation that it was all just a dream in Vincent's head, and then he's like, whoa, I really respect... What, like, why was Jazz taking, taking up such a prominent spot in my dream world? And he realizes... And he realizes his true feelings. And it's the start of a beautiful, uh, a beautiful camaraderie. Vincent V. Jazz. Although I guess, like, the archetypal ship is, like, you know, Jazz and Leo, right? Does, doesn't Leo have a crush on Jazz? Or there's there's like some some dialogue to that effect anyway? I think I remember that. Did we get our mushrooms today? Probably not, because I've been slacking on the mushroom front. It's a love triangle, baby. I don't know if it's a love triangle. I think it's just everyone loves Jazz. I think Leo loves Jazz. Vincent loves Jazz, and Jazz loves herself. It's all Jazz, always has been. <laughs> More of a love pyramid. There you go. Thank you for protecting my furniture catalog, Futon Bear. Just wanted to 
show my appreciation. It's an arrow, not a triangle. <laughs> Star drop luck day. Son of a... I've got like 27 staircases. <laughs> All right. I, should, I shouldn't I should have even checked, honestly. I was like, what are the odds it's going to be an actual good luck day? It's fine. It's fine. Skull Cavern can wait for another time. Vincent says he wants to marry Penny when he grows up. I mean, he's been saying that for 10 years now. When's he gonna... When's he gonna, you know, figure that one out? There will be more star drop luck days. What if there aren't, though? What if in this seed, that was the last star drop luck day? We just missed it. Technically possible, right? Although I guess daily luck is not seeded. It's like, it changes based on your footsteps or something. New outfit, yeah. We got a nice, fresh, summery outfit. I, I feel, I just, it just feels more summery. The other one felt a little too autumnal. This one feels more like uh, Beatrix's summer fit. Tyler time, welcome on into your first stream. Happy to have you here. Please enjoy your stay. We're all friends here. As long as you're a Haley enjoyer. If you can appreciate Haley, you're welcome here. If not, it's okay. You'll be converted before too long. Exclamation point Haley. How do you feel about that? Yeah, luck isn't seeded. It would be wild if it was, though. Imagine Blade finds a seed that's just max daily luck all day, like, for like the entire first year or something. Nah, instead you have to do some, like, fancy RNG manipulation strategies. Haley says it must be nice to have a break. Laughs in Ultimate Iron Man. You heard about me from Squirmy Master? Yo, Squirmy Master, thank you for the, for the signal boost. Appreciate you. Didn't know Haley felt that way about Chloe. It's not that kind of a break that she's referring to. Haley and Chloe are still going very strong. It's not like a like a Ross and Rachel type. We were on a break. Chad, I think there's an argument to be made for Ross Geller being one of the most, like, psychotic characters in fiction. Not gonna lie. Have you ever seen that video where it's, like, the scene where Ross is, like, he's, like, talking about his sandwich, the moist maker, but there's no laugh track? Like, the laugh track has been taken out, taken out of Friends, the hit sitcom. And he's talking about his moist maker sandwich and how someone else ate it, and he goes all, he goes, like, full psychopath mode. Ross is unhinged garbage. I don't know if I go that far. I like Ross personally. I think he's like a fun character. But he's kinda he's kinda wild. <laughs> he's so something very bad. Maybe I don't know enough about Ross. It's been a while since I've seen friends. I don't remember him I remember him being like I mean Chandler is definitely the best of the friends. There's no argument no arguments there, I don't think. I feel like if you took I feel like if you took a poll of all friends watchers and like who's the best of the main six cast of friends, it would be a relatively even split, except Chandler would take up like fifty percent of the vote. The other fifty percent would go to like the rest of them relatively evenly. But like Chandler Chandler steals the show every time. This is Phoebe Erasure. Phoebe's great. She's no Chandler. The only thing I remember about Phoebe is when she sings about the smelly cat. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Sorry, I'm just I'm just readjusting my microphone cord here. It was get, I was getting all tangled up in it. All right. 
Uh, anything else for today? Mushrooms? Did I do mushrooms yet? I might be starting to get back into the swing of the mushroom era. Phoebe is queen. For me, the order of my favorite friends, I think goes... Hold on, I need to pause to think this one out. Chandler, number one. Who's number two? Number two is probably... See, this is why... This is it's so even for, like, all the rest of them. It's, like, Chandler stands head and shoulders above the rest of them. Second is probably going to be Rachel. Third... Third, I'm going to give to... Dude, I'm... Third, I'm going to give to Rost. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Ross my third place spot. Fourth is gonna be Phoebe. Fifth is Joey. Sixth is Monica. That's my that's my friends ordering right now. That's how I feel in the moment. Ask me on a different day, the order might change a little bit, but Chandler's always gonna be all the way up there. Take that back. <laughs> no, Bugs Bunny. No. All right, um, we're good for today, right? I'm just, I'm getting so lost in the friend's sauce, I don't even remember what I'm doing here anymore. We're just waiting for these star drops to grow, basically. Star fruit, my bad. If we were growing star drops, that would be a whole different story. Holy. Ross is last by an enormous landslide. Chad, is, did I miss the cancellation of Ross Geller? What happened to my boy Ross? I thought Ross was always kind of okay. That's why I put him at number three. Ooh, Starfruit Day! Wait, we can watch the Junimos at work. The Junimos come out to play, baby. Um, there you go. All right, yo, we can just enjoy the fruits of our labor finally. The Junimos, such prideful little Junimos, finally. How much would a star drop sell for? I think star drops sell for 7,777 gold if you cheat one in. And that, cause like if you cheat one in, you can get in your inventory and you're really able to sell it. Look at this little guy waving. I'm gonna call that one Jeremy. Chat, can we get, can we get your favorite pride based emoji in chat? In honor of our prideful Junimos. Pride month is almost over, but the pride never stops. Favorite friend is homie. If you don't have a favorite pride-based emoji, just drop some homies in chat. This is also a respectable choice. Yo, they tag- did you see them tag team that one? That was so cute. <laughs> He's giving a little extra luck to this one in particular. It's gonna be that's gonna be a gold star for sure. Gold star quality. Wait for it. Wait for it. Watch. Chat was a gold star. No, there's. I mean, it is a gold star. Chat, it's gold star quality. Look at it. We have 55 gold star star fruits. No way. Holy. We're so lucky. I probably should have like got some farm level boosting food before doing this, but it's all good. So big and juicy, they had to work together to pick it up. Everything works when you work together. A bee drinks from a flower and leaves with its pollen. The squirrels take the seeds from the trees that have fallen. This is, look, you guys take your time. I know this is a big field to harvest. Will they harvest if I'm not on the farm? Can I like, go do other stuff? I mean, I can at least go do Debris Day. I can take care of that. But if I leave the farm entirely, will they like keep, continue harvesting or not? They will. I can go bomb the trees. Ooh, good, good idea, actually. It might, it might be tree bombing day, because, I mean, our crop field is going to be no more in a second. So, 
it might be time to might be time to prepare this. So first and foremost, let's scythe all the grass out of here, get all the hay that we can out of it, because our silo is probably starting to run a little low. do this then we'll bomb the trees we're also we're gonna catch some of these rocks in the crossfire in the Ross fire so that's okay and then once we have a nice pristine layout here then we can start doing we can start making some moves can I move a Junimo hut that has stuff in it does anyone know the answer to this question As long as I don't go to bed, they continue. That's good to know. All right. Grass fully scythed. Trees are all pre-chopped. We did that earlier on. Now we just go get some bombs and uh, take care of all this. You know, aged cheese usually isn't a good play, but what about in this case? To age anything, I would have to upgrade the house one more time, which we might have enough hardwood to do that pretty soon. I don't know how much hardwood we have in our mahogany trees right now. We have... how much on standby? We have 53 on standby. Do you think we have at least 100 in all our trees down there in our little hardwood grove? I don't know. Because I think we need 150 for the house upgrade, right? And then we can get access to casks, which would be access to aged goods. Which is probably worth our while, given how long we're going to be at this golden clock grind. Um, just bring all the bombs. Yo, thank you, Tyler Time. I appreciate the kind words. And I mean, aged cheese has the same bottle cat bottleneck for us as aged wine, I think. We only have one cheese press. Same as we only have one keg. So we, I mean, like, artisan goods just are not in a great spot for us right now because we only have, like, access to one of everything, basically. All right, fire in the hole. Let's just, let's just hit as many, as much as we can. I think this is a good spot to start right here. All right, rip to our mining XP. Can we get some 07? We're gonna, we're starting at four mining XP. What are we going to go up to? Oof. That was 8 mining XP, so we're up to 12. I got a fro- Why did I get a frozen geode? <laughs> it's the middle of summer. What the heck, dude? Just tripled our mining XP out of that one? Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Bomb it again. We'll put a, put a bomb right there. We should be able to hit that one as well. Don't know if we'll hit that stump, but it's still a decent spot. One extra mining XP out of the deal. All right. Next order of business. Right about there is fine. 10 mining XP out of that. We're currently up to 23, almost a quarter of our first level. It's not so bad. We've avoided getting any coal, haven't we? I don't see any coal even, like, on the ground that we've missed. Two, three. Well, this, I mean, I don't have to pre-chop that. I can just chop that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Hey there, Nico Coer. Good to see you, Nico. Four. Okay. Uh, cherry bomb it. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and we want to get rid of this rock too, as well as I think we pre-chopped this tree as well at some point. We pre-chopped that stump. I can tell it's already cracked up a little bit. Oh! Oh no! 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 Did we hit a chat? Did we hit a did we hit a hootie? Chat? Did we hit hootie? I can't... There was a third Hootie there, wasn't there? Chat, where's Hootie? Chat? This is this is the protected tree, I forgot. I forgot this is our protected tree. Chat, was there a third Hootie here, yes or no? Was there a third Hootie here? 
Hootie? Ho Hootie? I think this is a resettable offense, chat. It's four in the afternoon. I think it's I think this is a resettable offense. I can't I will not abide hootie slaughter from my own carelessness. This is a resettable offense. That said, if there turn if it turns out there was no hootie there all along, I'm gonna feel like a bit of a dingus, but there are two by the hardwood. Thought we only had four. I, I could have sworn we had like six hooties, to be honest with you. We have at least five, I'm pretty sure. Farming buff? Do we have a farming buff ready to go? Hash browns? I mean, we need to keep that for a recipe. Pepper poppers? Two plus two farming. Sure. A little speed buff as well. Good shout out, Miss Palindrome. Thank you. Get a little bit higher quality star fruit on this one. At least we'll we'll get something out of the reset if if nothing else. I have to go check though. Let's check the mushroom cave first, and then we'll go check to see if Hootie has been saved. We moved one down by the hardwood. There was a third Hootie! Wait, okay, I feel justified then. I feel fully justified. I get this little sapling out of here. This is not part of the echelon. Hootie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Oh my gosh, I'm never doing that. I'm never just bombing that carelessly ever again. Before I place down any bombs at all, I'm picking up all the statues. Mark my words. There was a third hooter. There, there were, there was a shooter on the grassy knoll. Hootie will never forget. <laughs> He's got a mind like a steel trap. I have to check Sussy Gussy every day. I mean, I don't know about every day, but we'll check him today. Pumpkin soup. Good call. Good shout out, Pata. I mean, we're going to be out here doing stuff anyway, so we'll definitely be out still by noon. And we can go pick up some, uh, some, pump some pumpkin soup for a little extra luck buff. All right. Don't think I have any other debris that I needed to clear. They're currently working on all the star fruit. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. They work so fast when I'm not, like, staring at them 24-7. <laughs> A watched, Jun a watched Junimo never harvests. Today I learned. Okay. Eat that. Chad, is this 100 hardwood worth of trees right here? I want to say it's close, but I don't know. It, it feels like we might be a little short. All right. We did our pre-chopping. Let's go grab the... Let's go grab all our hooties. Hootie, hootie, and hootie, and of course chicken. Alright, protect them. Protect them at all costs now. And let's go ahead and take care of business here. Each tree produces 8 to 13 hardwood, so probably. I'm willing to take those odds. We might we might do a little hardwood farming today. Argon the grass. Oops. I knew I was forgetting something. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Chat, it's not that big of a deal. Do you know how much grass I have on my farm? Everyone's like, no, scythe the grass, scythe the grass. Whatever will I do? Where in the world could I possibly find any more grass, chat? I'm all out of grass! There's no grass left on this farm! C chat, come on. Look, I I get it, it's on me. It was a waste of grass, but at the same time, come on. We <laughs> you gotta take the rest of the farm into context here. There could always be more. You're not wrong, and I I can't I can't refute the statement. 
Okay. Alright, are we all grassed up? Grass cleared? I think we're good. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more pre-chopping of the stumps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. And then we'll do one, two, three, four. And just a little cherry bomb right there for that guy. Love to see it. All right. Now we go take care of business down here. Second half. Second verse. Same as the first. Your anxiety is spiking. There's there's no reason for the anxiety. I promise. You're in safe hands now. Hootie is safely in our inventory. Two, three, four. I can count to four at least. Most days. Bomb right about there. We hit that last rock. We're up to 20, 24 experience mining. And that should be all she wrote, I think. I think we're good, right? We're in the clear now. Our little, little bird posse can go back to their rightful locations here. We go vacuum up all the sap and the wood. And this looks like a pretty crystal clear field to me. We're gonna have to now we now we do a little bit of finesse work. So I will I will reference my screenshot one more time because it's I want to make sure I get the exact placement of the Junimo huts right. So let's take care of business here. Put those away. Frozen geode, you can ride with me for now. Put this away. Do all that. That one percussion sound is making you think the stumps are breaking whenever it happens. Celeste music just has that effect. Makes you forget the line between reality and fiction. Okay. I need to go get my star fruit now. So this is the plan. We go get our star fruit, right? Collect it all. Because we're going to need at least some for our Junimo huts. Look at this beautiful field. All right, holy. <laughs> just take it all. Take it all, we can ride, we can... I think we're just gonna sell it all like directly to Pierre, honestly. We'll, we'll save some, obviously, for our Junimo hut, but I think we sell the majority of this just raw, straight to Pierre. Is there is there a reason not to? I can make one into a little starfruit jelly. If we got a preserves jar, I could, I could make some into starfruit wine, but Want to get the hut first? I mean, I just I, I should just save nine star fruit. I think I can manage that. In theory. <laughs> I'll just you know what I'll say I'll set a sell side nine just to be on the safe side nine there, and we'll come back for it. The wizard doesn't close until like way late at night, so I'm not super worried about it. Wasn't I going to use the preserve jars for pumpkins or something? Yeah, but that's like a little too much work. I realize we have a lot of money to make, but we're about to make a lot of money as well. It's all passive money, baby. Wallagug raid? Yo, Wallagug. Wallagug, did you drop in here? I know you were streaming earlier. You were streaming that mod before? Yo, raiders. Raiders, welcome on in. Anyone who's dropping in from Wallagug stream, welcome. You are all welcome here. Welcome, Walla Guggers! Exclamation point, Gug. It's been a while, my friend. How are you doing? I don't know. Well, I don't know if Walla Gug is here himself. Either way, welcome on in. You are here for our perfection randomizer. Basically, what it is, we're playing through Stardew Valley, trying to get perfection, but a randomizer controls our fate. You can see the current goal in the top left corner of the screen. Every, we have like 500, like almost 600 goals. They're all randomly chosen. We have to do them one at a time in, a per, in perfect order. And this is uh, 
we are we are unlucky enough to be on goal number 18 and have the <laughs> have the golden clock to get so welcome to the grind thank you for the raid wall good all right let's go ahead and we just sell all the star fruit i saved the nine back at home for the junimo hut so boom 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 not bad not a not a bad little bit of money we can definitely do better in the future but for right now, that's that's okay. We basically recouped our costs that we've spent on stuff throughout the stream so far. More or less, we've broken even right now. Oh, also, uh, the saloon I gotta go to. There was some pumpkin soup available. Yo, lots of, lots of new names in here. Welcome on in. Enjoy your time. I hope you had fun with Wallago stream. He was doing, he was playing that with that modded character, like Katrina or something, Catriel. I've seen her floating around in the Stardew space. Seems like a fun little mod, I might have to check that one out at some point. Yeah, Catriel. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Catriel. Which, for the, for my viewers who might not know who Catriel is, is, uh, I believe she's a custom character based around, like, she's like a meta character, I think? Like, she's like a glitch, she's like, her narrative is that she's like a glitch within the game or something like that? I don't really know the full story, I know very surface level Catriel intel. Alright, let's get our stuff for our next Junimo hut here. No more nonsense, alright, so we need... These are the materials for a Junimo hut, I'm pretty sure. Fiber plus stone plus star fruit. Let's go make it happen, baby. We're gonna go down, we're gonna move our one Junimo hut, if we can. If, if not, then we'll have to come back and, like, put all the stuff in chests, I guess. Chests and fridges and whatnot. Uh, can we get past here? Well, Iota, I guess this is where we part ways. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back for you, my... My horsey friend. Ellie, hello. What year are we on? Exclamation point year. Should be year nine, but you know, you start to lose track of the days at a certain point. Let's see what we got. I don't know. How much is a Junimo hut as far as, like, money goes? It's not, like, that much, right? $20,000? Easy. I could buy two and a half. I could buy two and a half of these before I even sweat the cost of an auto petter. All right. Build it. If you build it, they will come. Have a good one there, book rat. Yeah, 20k in the, in the grand scheme of things. Not going to be a big deal. All right. I think the Junimo huts were... Like side by side on this on this log here. Let me go check my screenshot though, because I have a screenshot ripe and ready to go of this of my layout that I have planned here. It's okay, so it's one tile to the left. Yeah, one one to the left and one then and then okay. Yeah. So it'll be like one second. I'll go back to the game. It'll be one here and then one here. Yeah, it should it should it should be like this, okay, like so, and then we move the other one. We did check in with Gus, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and right there, perfect. All right, so we've got the, that all set up. Now we just have to set up the actual farming plot here. We also don't have any seeds to plant here right now, I don't think. What's a good seed we could plant towards the end of summer just to get some profit out of this? We can't go visit Pierre. We could go visit Sandy, I guess, but I don't think she has any seeds other than starfruit seeds that will grow in the summer. Which we obviously don't have enough time to get another harvest of those going. A little bit of wheat. Wheat or fiber. We don't have access to fiber seeds yet, but wheat would probably be a good play. There's got to be a, a crop that that has uh, that grows in like less than ten days. That's not wheat, right? Because wheat is worth like nothing.
You can turn off the Junimos from harvesting. Oh, I guess if we put wheat in, then yeah, it preserves it into fall. That's a good, uh, that's a good call. Okay. I guess I shouldn't worry about hoeing this land just yet right now, right? Because, like, a lot. if I don't plant anything today, then it'll just become unhoed tomorrow anyway, or it has a chance to become unhoed, so we'll save our energy for tomorrow. What I can do is a little bit of furniture hut decorating. Am I going to move the well? We probably don't need to move the well because, I mean, I, sh I should move the well because I don't think it's going to serve much of a purpose where it is now. But we don't need the well over there really because we're not going to be doing much in the way of watering ourselves. That's the whole idea is that the Iridium Sprinklers will do it for us, but... What day is today? Today is the 18th. The 18th of summer. What time is it? Chess time! Name that reference. Alright. Deluxe Speed Grow Starfruit I have until the 19th. I would have to buy all the Deluxe Speed Grow. Is that worth it? Is it worth it? Would it be financially responsible to do that to do speed deluxe speed grow starfruit we have until the 19th you say so we'd have to plant it tomorrow and we, and we would get a we would get a harvest in is what you're telling me i want to make sure on that if, if that is possible then maybe it's worth it isn't deluxe how much is because deluxe speed grow sandy sells that right deluxe speed grow sold at the oasis for 80 gold on thursdays Ooh. okay so i have to like make this decision now because otherwise it's 150 gold at pierre's and then we go star fruit let me wiki that star fruit So it grows in 13 days. Does it really go down to 11 days with Deluxe Speed Grow? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, oh, or 10 days? 9 days? Wait, no, 9 days? There's no there's no way. But if I planted it tomorrow... I guess I would get a harvest. No, would I? Yeah, I would. I think I would. If I'm reading the chart on the wiki correctly, I think I, I think we would, yeah. Intense math. <laughs> Yo, Lady Janifer, I'm glad you're enjoying the challenge. Thank you. Would I have to plant today? I can plant tomorrow. I have to buy the, the speed grow today. Let's go it. Let's do it, dude. No time like the present. Starfruit is the most profitable summer crop, no matter what. Even if we can't turn it into wine, I'm pretty sure it's still the most profitable. Unless it rains on the last... <laughs> Why would you put that out there, Simber? <laughs> Unless it rains on the... Wait, isn't the last day of summer, isn't it uh, Dance in the Moonlight Jellies? Is is Dance in the Moonlight Jellies the last day of summer, or is it the sec is it second last day? Because it won't rain. It won't rain if it's the festival. We're good? Okay. We good, we good. My Stardew knowledge is not failing me yet. I always, I, I feel like I always conflate like Spirits Eve and Dance in the Moonlight Jellies because like one of them ends, one of them is the penultimate day and one of them is the ultimate day of their season. So we're good, we're good. Okay. Rare seeds for sale. Now, how many actual plot, how many actual spots do I have down there? Ooh, shirt, a wearable shirt. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Let me go look at my screenshot again. Unless Miss Palindrome just has this knowledge off the top of the dome. Miss Palindrome, are you... <laughs> Let me see. Hold on, chat. We're going to need to do some math. Let's do some math together, shall we? All right. This is what our final farming layout would look like. So we just count up the we just count up the spots here. So we got because like this this whole thing. Well, let's we can just subtract, right? 
Like if we do, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I thought it was ten by twenty, but I wanted to make sure. So that's two hundred and two. Um, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Minus forty four. 202 minus 44 is 158. Um, minus 12 for the Junimo Huts is uh, 146. Minus 8 for the Sprinklers is 138. 140. Did I did I math wrong? Is it 140? 11 logs table at 4 spots. 202 minus 44 minus 12 minus 6. Two aren't on the plot. There's eight. There's eight sprinklers that are on the plot, though. Because this, it's ten sprinklers total. Two aren't on the plot, so it's eight sprinklers. Wouldn't I add two? We started. We added those two because that was part of the two hundred and two at the start. One thirty-eight. Yes, my math skills. I'm not. I'm not washed yet. I'm not washed yet. All right, one hundred and thirty-eight. Let's go. Let's go, let's go put the pedal to the metal, buy 138. It's gonna be, it's gonna feel bad right now, but it's gonna be worth it. Deluxe speed grow. 138. And starfruit seeds. 138. All right. 137, I will find out. We will find out tomorrow. Find out next time on the Perfection Randomizer. Not quite, but we're getting close. Reminder, it's only going to be a three-hour stream instead of the usual four hours. Yeah, future profits will be worth it for sure. All right. Return to Stardew Valley. No worries, Miss Palindrome. I, under I understand where you were coming from. You were saying you were, yeah, we only had six sprinklers, but yeah, no, it's uh, ten total, eight on the plot. All right. So we got that ready. We don't. We're not going to plant them right now, right? There's there's no need to plant. I mean, we could we could plant them. How many? Do we have the time to do this? Hold on. We have... Where are our Iridium Sprinklers at? We have eight Iridium Sprinklers. We could place the Sprinklers. We could get that set up and then... Okay. Chat, there might be enough time. Do you think that there's enough time for us to get this entire field set up? Keeping in mind we have a basic hoe. We're gonna try. We're gonna give, we're gonna give it the old college try. I'm going to laser focus. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the fastest hoer this side of Grampleton. I got to be very careful how I pronounce that word. <laughs> or bombs, maybe. More bombs. You know, more bombs could be, the, could be the play. But I'm here now. Sunk cost fallacy. Hold on. We're, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. This It's going to be worth it, chat. It's going to be worth it. I might pass out before I can make it to bed, but you think I can do it? We're going to get bombs, we're going to get a, a, a weapon, and we're going to get coffee. We can do this, we can do this. Alright. Swap this for a weapon for right now. Bomba. Coffee. Bring two just in case. Triple shot it. Go, go, go. 10, 20. The Junimas aren't going to be mad if I bomb their houses, right? They're like, they're cool with it. I, I gotta be careful to bomb low as well. Bomb low and avoid disappointment. Chad, is this even worth it? XP1, it's fine. I, I hit a rock somewhere. I'm not concerned about it. I'm not concerned. Slime, get this out of here. 
I'm lifting the hooties. Pass out is good luck on your farm. All right, bomb, 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 bomb. That might be too low of a bomb. Shoot, did I hit a hootie? I have no time, no time to worry about it. No time to worry. Just finish, just finish up manually. I don't think we hit hootie. I'm, I'm gonna say we didn't hit hootie. Okay, hooties are safe. Hooties are safe. Okay. Officially all planted. I don't have my scarecrows either. Oh gosh. Like if I, if I so I can put down the sprinklers though. I can put down the sprinklers and then it'll at least be watered. But we don't plant the seeds tonight. Yeah, we'll just play, we'll just place the sprinklers. You think I messed up, Quasar? How did how did we mess up? I'm conf I'm concerned. I'm concerned and confused. I think we're okay. Hold on, I gotta look one more time at my screenshot for the sprinkler layout. Want to make sure I get it right. Still get stuff on hold if the seeds aren't planted. I know that, but I mean, it's better to have at least some watered tiles than none at all for tomorrow. All right, so we start there. Okay, okay. And then we just follow follow the four pattern. I got it. I got this. I'm I'm. I'm locking it in. I'm locking it into my mental map. That goes down like that, down like that. Okay, it's it's easy. It's actually easy, chat. It's actually easy. I'm just I'm just a little stressed out right now. And the music is not helping, but it I'm here for it all the same. All right, right there. Wait, that's too high. That chat that's too high. That's too high. I'm messing it up already. One down. One further down. Like that. Wait, chat. Are my logs different than my- my- oh, jeez. My logs are in different spots. I thought the logs would be in the same spots, chat. I thought the logs would be in the same spots. They're not in the same spots, are they? I'm so- I'm so concerned. Breathe? I can't- I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I'm doing it right? Okay. So it's like- it's here? No. I don't have any- t I don't have time, dude. I don't have time to, f to- to- just put him down. Just put him down? That's- that's wrong? But- Right there? Right there. I'm taking it. We're- we're taking this to the bank. We're cashing it in. Hooties? Okay. We're safe. Chat, we're sa We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, chat. We're still gonna make it. I just have to navigate the debris fields. I was born to navigate these fields. These stones can't stop me! Okay, alright. We're still- we're good. Chat, it wasn't even close. I wasn't even worried at all. Chat, were any of you worried? Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Whew. Holy moly. Yeah, Stardew's such a relaxing game. I'm so here for it. Top row is fixed. Chad, it's raining! <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> After all that, it's raining today. <laughs> I'm dead. Chad, I died. <laughs> oh my god, why? Uh, it's not even one of the guaranteed rain days. It's just raining for the sake of raining. To slap me in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's it's fine. We had to put those sprinklers down anyway. It's, it's I'm not... Whatever, dude. It's, it's freaking raining. Get out of here with this. Someone, someone in chat is probably like, You should have checked the weather forecast, forehead. I'm like, you know, you should check the weather forecast. What happens when you don't check the weather? I, I knew it. I knew it. All right. 
perfect. There we go. So is this top, is the top row good? I know we obviously this this far side is still not going to be water. We're missing two sprinklers from our layout. That's okay. That's expected. Bottom right three need to be moved over. Bottom right three need to be moved over. I actually don't think they do, because I remember I from the, uh, from this layout here. Let me let me show you. I th I think I know where we're coming at that from. But I think I did this in my head and just didn't tell anybody about it. So, like, this is how the layout is, right, like, originally. And you can see, like, the sprinklers, like, these first two are lined up, but then these ones are, like, off by one. But they don't need to be, because, like, if you look, I don't know why I did it like this when I first set it up, but if you move this one over, it still waters everything that it needs to, and then it just, like, moves the whole pattern one over, so it should be fine. Right? Does this, are we, are we matching? Chat, are we matching? I think this matches. Have a good one there, Daisy Stardew Valley. Like, I think this still covers everything that it needs to cover. Like, this will cover that instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little overlap between those two, I think. But that's okay, because the overlap was accounted for on this one, because this overlaps onto the actual land. So now that one doesn't overlap, and this one overlaps instead. It's basically just shifting the overlap one around, like you're doing one of those, like, roller tape things. I believe we're, I believe we're covered. I think we're covered. Yeah, I think there's going to be overlap no matter what you do in this sort of situation. Anyway, speed grow me. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm just waiting with bated breath. The anxiety is back once again in full form because I am not sure if we did the math right. I'm pretty confident we did the math right, but we won't know until the last speed grow is placed. Love this song. Yo, I'm love I'm, I love all the songs in our stream playlist. I've, I've curated them closely. It's not just the entirety of the Stardew Valley soundtrack, but it is close. And it's not just the entirety of the Celeste soundtrack, but it is close. And you got your Mother 3 songs in there as well. Yo, perfect. Perfectly planned. As long as we didn't miss any actual tiles, then we're good. Imagine I need one more. It would be awkward, but I've I'm no stranger to asynchronous farm layouts. I wouldn't it wouldn't be that bad. Thank you for that. I guess we can move one of our star fruit or one of our uh, gemstones into the other Junimo hut. We gotta have some rainbow Junimos and some some pink Junimos, some lucky pink Junimos. I'm okay with this. Okay, two more right down the middle here. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and move the. You guys had the star shards first. Take the prismatic shard there for you. All right. Much more chill than five minutes ago, and the music matches, too. Alright, so next order of business, we gotta get our... We gotta get our Rare Crows. So we have a couple over in this one that we can uh, reuse from this farm layout. But I think we're gonna need... I think we need... I don't know if we need four Rare Crows, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You're also coming with me. But I know four Rare Crows for a fact will cover everything, so I might as well. I mean, I'm not using the Rare Crows for anything else right now, so let's just go grab some. Yeah, we just need two more sprinklers. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, we can get a sprinkler today. Let's go, uh, I will go buy a sprinkler before I head back there. Alright, you're coming with me. And you're protecting that, it's a very important job. You're my bedside buddy, so you're gonna come with me by default. Alright. And move this over. Just so it's nicely lined up. 
All right, let's go buy another sprinkler. You have a kitten not letting you type. <laughs> welcome to the, welcome to the lovely rambunctious world of cats. You'll never type when you want to ever again. It's always on the cat schedule. I have a horse. Yeah, but like I don't want my legs to atrophy, you know. Beatrix still has to get her, her exercise. Can't make Iota do all the work. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that's probably the appropriate response to what I just said. What's their name? The horse or the kitten? Our horse is Iota. Our cat is Pi. I don't know what uh, what Miss Palindrome's cat is, though. Yo, kittens are so cute. I remember when Minu was, like, first, like, a really little kitten. Like, when we first got her, she was so small that she could, like, squeeze under the couch that was, like, almost flush with the floor. And, and she did. She was a very, very much a scaredy cat when we first got her. Grew into her own eventually, as most cats do, but... Alright, so you can go right there, and then we'll have one more to go down here. So we'll have to do... Actually, we'll do... We'll, I'm gonna actually use this one down here. That way the water... The tiles I have to water are just, like, a little bit closer. Okay. Rare crows. Our nice little assortment of rare crows. It doesn't hugely matter where these guys go, I don't think. Here, here is this is this good? This is good coverage, I think. I mean, the the, the rare crows, the scarecrows in general, always cover like more than I think they will. So I think this is like totally fine, like this. All right, field fully established. Hold on a second. Do you go? Can you go perfectly in the center? Not quite. I move you like one over, and then I like, move you one over. Boop. And then I have to move you over one as well in order to make it all as symmetrical as I can. All right, it's beautiful. Is there anything else we need to do for this? Do I need to build a fence around this place, or should we just leave it open air? I don't really think we need a fence around this place, right? It could be it could be fun, just like for aesthetics, but I don't think we actually need one. I can always move the logs. The tree columns. I mean, these tree columns, I'm gonna- we're gonna repurpose them for our little animal enclosure, I think. But for now, I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy with, uh, with how we- with how we've done here. And it's just about time for me to end the stream anyway. So I think what we're gonna do is probably call it a day there, unless there's anything else pressing I have to do today. We got our sprinkler. Can't think of anything else I need to do. Am I afraid the Junimos are gonna bother- Ooh, bother Hootie. No, if anything, I'm worried that um, if a Junimo were to encounter the Hootie Brigade, they would become too powerful, and they would try to, like, overthrow the farm. We got a lot of separate factions at work here. Cult of the Lambda, the Hootie Brigade, and uh, and the Junimo Congregation. There's, there's a lot here. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're good. To, I think we're probably good to call it a stream there. I'll go get my mushrooms for the day, and then I think we are great. That was a productive stream. I'm glad we got our we got our new crop area set up. Our our sprinklified crop area. Next stream, we can focus on getting the animals in order. Like we can maybe build a second barn and give them a uh, space to roam, make it a little more free range, and then I think we're good as far as like passive money makers go from there we'll figure out what else we want to do beyond just like sleeping the days away and getting all the money we can just you know by osmosis 
Either way. Let's go ahead and lock it in. Oh, uh, your cat's name was also Miss Minu Jasmine? That's so sweet. Minu, Minu is such a great name for a cat. It's French for kitten. It's just a great name. Alright. Go to sleep for the night? I think we are... Just sorry, just running through the to-do list in my in my head again, going over the puppet show, the puppet show. Even though the puppet show didn't really give us any intel, but I just you know, it was at least golden clock related. <laughs> anyway, go to sleep for the night. Yeah, went to sleep for seven years of Starfruit. Wouldn't mind sleeping for more passive income. All right, and just to double check, let's go look at our field now and see the products of our labor. It's not going to be perfect, I know that off the top of my head, because we're missing one sprinkler from the layout. But... But... Oh, baby. Look at that. We got five tiles that are unwatered that we have to water manually. I'm not even mad about it. Look at this. It's beautiful. It feels so good. Chad, it was worth it. Every step of stress and skull caverns and, and all that stuff, it was all worth it. We're so, we're so set up. Fractured Farm is finally coming into its own. It only took us nine years. <laughs> so much less watering, oh yeah. For now, though, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a stream. You know, we did get raided by Wallagug. Is anyone else live right now that I could pave it forward to? Let me see. Am I able to set up a redirect from, like, in here? Edit. Reader, is there a redirect? I don't know where like you go to like redirect. You can set up a redirect before the stream starts, but you can't set one up after the fact. I don't think. I don't know if anyone else is live right now. Let me see. No one in my in my subscriptions is currently live. Wickedy, can you go live real quick? Can you go live real quick? Customize. Edit, customization, add redirect. I can't add a redirect. No live or upcoming content for my subscriptions. Rip. Thank you for the save anyway, though, Wikity. Lol, no. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all. Thank you, everyone who was watching beforehand and to everyone who came from, uh, from the Wallagug raid. I appreciate everyone equally. Good to have you here. I'll be live again tomorrow with the Ultimate Iron Man Challenge. Another challenge we're doing sort of in tandem with this one. And uh, yeah, same time, same place. I hope to see you all then. But until then, thank you all for watching. Be good to, no be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. Water the dry spots. I mean, I can. You know what? Just, just for completeness sake, even though I'm going to like close the stream and this day will be reset. We're no, stranger, we're no stranger to resetting progress around here. There we go. Just for the completeness factor. I'm gonna get the heck out of here though. Yeah, be good to yourself. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And I will see you next time. Leave you off the usual fan art compilation. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a good night, everyone. Bye bye.